It's two in the morning. I'm talking. We ain't even done. So we guys, done. we're gonna talk about dieting, man. And we're gonna answer every single one of you guys' questions, man. All the questions in the world, any question that you have, please feel, feel, feel free and ask. There is no stupid questions. And make sure you guys smash the like button. Woo! Let's go. What's and up? smash that subscribe button. Thank you guys for popping out to another night. You feel me? If you don't know, I'm Brody Gaines. Mm -hmm. So please go subscribe to my page. We got Bam Bam here. Woo! What's up? You feel me? Jaquan, I see you. Ah, uh, I see you. J JR, I see you. <laughs> Jaquan, like, do some push ups. <laughs> More push ups, man. Uh, we here. Goku Pump Kalil, I see you. Woo! Yo, drop where you from so we can shout out. So we can shout you out. Drop where you from. Feel me? Drop where you from so we can shout you out. 2 a.m. Come on, guys. We just finished working out. We could just go eat and go to sleep right now. But we, we decided to come and make sure we interact with you guys, yes. answer your questions, make sure that we up and grow on another level. Austin. Feel me? Shout out to Long Island. Shout out to, 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 to Stockstone. Shout out to Vaughn City. Shout out to Chirac. Shout out to Put Pasadena. Yeah, Pasadena. Shout out to Cali. Shout out to Berkeley. Cali out there in Berkeley. Shout out to Cleveland. Yo. Shout out to London, England. 500 tax. <laughs> 500 tax for having to switch, switch lives. Oh, <laughs> shout out to Brittany. Shout out to Toronto. Yeah. Shout out to Georgia. Shout out to Denver. Shout out to Canada. You feel me? Shout out to the Republic. Damn. Yo, you guys got me weak, man. Shout out to tax, Dallas. Shout out to Virginia. Shout out to Vancouver. You feel me? Shout out to Missouri. Shouts to every single one. Shouts to Richmond, Virginia. Shouts to Iowa. Iowa. Shouts to Florida. Shouts to Red Bank, New Jersey. Yeah, man, we back. We here. We here. We here. So, guys, what questions do you guys have about? We got dieting? Chicago. We got Los Angeles. Hold on. We got Chicago. I hear you. I see you, bro. Chicago in the building. I see you, bro. Chicago. Chicago. I see you. Pittsburgh. Okay. Pennsylvania. We about to be in Pennsylvania tomorrow. Wait. Yeah, we're gonna be yeah. in Pennsylvania tomorrow. Yeah, actually, Allentown. We're going to be in Allentown tomorrow. We got Hamilton in the building. What's up? Yeah, man. Real talk, Journey. That's how we trying to do, man. That's how we trying to do. We trying to reach the world. Los Santos. That's what I'm talking about. Los Santos. Jaquan. Yo, Jaquan, by the end of this live, we're going to do some push-ups just for you, bro. Yeah, so man. make sure because you missed that last live, you stay in tune with this one. You heard? We probably do, we probably do another thousand. So, guys... We're gonna talk about how to diet and build muscle, man. First thing I'm gonna talk about is caloric surplus, man. If you're a skinny guy and you're trying to get bigger, you're trying to get more bulky or whatever, you wanna get on a caloric surplus. But you also wanna make sure that you're always doing, no matter what, either you're trying to get bigger, lean, or toned, you always wanna make sure that you're doing compound workouts, man. Workouts that, that work on different muscle groups, like the Super Scene Challenge. That's what compound workouts mean, guys, yeah. you know? A push-up, you know? It, do, it not only works your chest, it works your triceps, it works your abs, a lot of muscles are getting, even your back sometimes, not, not even sometimes, all the times, man. You see when people do push-ups, right? Like, let's say I was doing a push-up, people's back would just kind of, it works because it contracts yeah. and retracts, your muscles stay in that tense position where you'll be able to build because you're in the negatives. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then so, when you switch those type of variations up, now you're doing muscle confusion, you'll be able to maximize your gains because muscle memory, you feel me? Remember, guys, muscle confusion, you, you, you mix muscle, muscle confusion with muscle memory, then you'll be able to change your body no matter what. You feel me? Yo, I wish we could video chat with you guys too, man. Yo, hit me up. Add us on Instagram. Add Yo, us on Instagram. Add the, add the Facebook group, Sensu yeah. Gang. Yeah, we're going we gonna to video chat people. We're, we're video chatting people on our Sensu Gang group. So add us on Sensu Gang, you feel me? Yeah. And guys, what you want to do, right, like I was saying, get on a caloric surplus, man. Make sure that you're eating your carbs. When you're on a caloric surplus, you want to eat a lot of carbs, guys. People Somebody like to run away from carbs. You want to eat a lot the, the, of carbs. Yeah, you know, actually, that was one of our questions. That was uh -huh. one of our questions that we had that I see. Uh, for someone that who's 6'2 and 154 pounds, how do I get to 185 and healthy? Very good um, question. 
Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for, for uh, 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 supporting us by watching our channels. And that's the easy one, bro. Let, first of all, Bam Bam, let him know, especially with the plant diet, if you're on a plant-based diet, how you'll be able to how you be able to gain weight without having to be worried about your health. Okay, so you want to um, gain muscle mass, right? On a plant-based diet, it's even easier because a plant-based diet is a lot of carbs already. You already gonna eat a lot of carbs. If you're eating your lentils, you're eating your beans. These has carbs and proteins and fiber. People don't people don't people don't know about fiber. Like if you want to bulk up, you gotta you gotta eat some fiber. Fiber will help you work up. So your your lentils, your beans, your chickpeas. And guys, like I said, at the end of the day, either you're on a plant-based diet, you're on a on a whatever diet you're on, you know, you have to be consuming more calories than you're burning. You have to be consuming more calories than you're burning. So how do you do that? You do your strength-based workout. You do when you're doing your strength-based workout, you're not burning as much calories as when you're doing cardio. So you, you want to kind of just reduce the cardio, do more strength-based workout, like the Super Saiyan Challenge, which would not enable you to burn as much calories, and you just eat more. Keep eating more on a plant-based diet or whatever diet is. You want to make sure that you're not dirty bulking. Do not dirty bulk, guys. What do I mean by dirty bulk? Don't, like two Oreos, right? Yeah. Two, two pieces of Oreos. It's like 500 calories. calories yeah. So people would, people would want, oh, eat Oreos. I can, I can get more calories if I eat Oreos. And they eat a lot of Oreos. And guess and then what? Your you stomach think, is fucked up. And, and then you that. think that that's going to apply to your workout? You think that you're going to be able to bust out a thousand push-ups just eating Oreos? You're not getting the energy that your body needs to sufficiently be able to, to, to be efficient. You know what I mean? Especially if you're doing a thousand push-ups. You need to be able to get organic, natural food that give you energy that, so you can be able to move and push past you know what I mean? That point of no return. And plus, when you try to dirty bulk, you will feel sluggish. Yes. You know what I mean? And that's your body telling you that you shouldn't eat that. Or that's your body telling you that, you know, you should probably cut back on the amount of food that you're eating. You don't need to eat until you're full. Yes. A lot of people eat until they're full. Bam Bam, when I met Bam Bam, he used to do that. <laughs> until he was full. And he's like, yo, bro, I ain't gonna front, son. Why you eat so much, bro? I ain't gonna front. What are you what are you trying to gain by eating so much? You know what I mean? Eat until you're satisfied. You eat until you're satisfied, and then your body can continue to go on and go yeah. on and go on. When I was at Wingate training, first training, I told you guys, I'll be at Wingate for 10 hours. 10 hours. You know what I mean? I used to smoke, I would be drinking, but I was doing all that in moderation. Eating is the same way. If you do that in moderation, you'll be able to continue the, to, the gains that you need and you'll be able to get the best results out of your body. The, the people that live the longest in the, um, on the planet of Earth are people that are on caloric deficit yes, diets. That's a fact. Meaning that they are not trying to eat food with high calories. They're trying to eat uh, every day and just have low calorie meals. Yes. Uh, all natural, especially when you eat all natural things. When you eat all natural things like uh, 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 nuts, almond nuts, you know what I mean, uh, 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 fruits and things like that, those calories are a lot lower than when you eat saturated fats. You know what I mean? Yo, shout out, shout out to Woo! Shout out to Call of Duty next. Man. Call of Duty. Thank you for doing Call that, of bro. Duty. Appreciate you, bro. Ben Broly, uh, Gumby, been an avid follower since Gumby. Yo, a Yo, salute, bro. You, bro. Salute, man. Thank I appreciate you. you. Appreciate you for your. For your love. So yeah, guys, like he said, eat till you're satisfied, especially when you're on a caloric surplus, man. Cause he's right, man. I was doing that. I would try to eat till I'm full. And when you eat till you're full, right? You're so you're you're so sluggish, you don't feel like doing anything, and you might not you you're not gonna get hungry within two to three hours again. You're still gonna feel full and you're still gonna be moving stuck. So when you eat till you're satisfied. Your body can get hungry within the next three hours, so you can eat. So you can eat. You can keep eating more and keep eating more instead of eating till you're so full that you might not even be able to eat for the rest of the day. So that's the best way to do it, man. Eat till you're satisfied. Somebody asked, uh, "Can we break down the keto diet?" Uh, I think you could break that down better. Um, but I, I, I believe the keto diet is basically um, reducing the amount of. Um, carbs you're taking, just trying to intake more protein. Keto diet is good for people that's trying to get on a caloric deficit. Um, 
So what you do is instead of eating like rice, you know, all those carbs that will make you like bulk up, you eat like the vegetables, you know, you eat your, your kale, your spinach, you replace that, you, you, I mean, you replace, you, you, you eat that instead of the rice and the potatoes and you just have um, meat with that, you have your meat with that, which is like um, chicken, um, it could even be a steak. That's how you do it. Listen, basically, basically, a keto diet is a diet that consists of very low carbs. You want to stay away from rice. You want to stay away from bread. You want to stay away from all carbonated foods. Why? Because uh, when you stay away from these foods, when you uh, 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 eat just straight greens and proteins, now your body is burning more fat. And that fat is going to be turned into energy for you to be to fuel your body as energy. All right? And that's why you'll burn fat a lot faster on a keto diet. Yes. While exercising as well, so practice. If you want anybody out there who want to lose weight very fast, try the keto diet, and on top of that, make sure you exercise. Yes. You combine these together, you will not fail. Yep, that's a fact. That's a fact, man. You feel me? Yeah. And there's like, like I said, there's so many diets out there for people to follow. That's why even even if even though I'm on a plant based diet. I'm not like, hey, you must follow the plant-based diet too. Nah, man. Try out different things that would work for you. You know what I'm saying? This is what we do. We show you what we do. We show you how we eat. But it doesn't mean like the thing is going to work for you because everybody should have a different goal. First of all, first thing, you should know your body. You should know your body, man. Are you an ectomorph? Are you a mesomorph? Are you an um, endomorph? You need to know your body type. Before you even start a diet or even start a, a, a workout regimen, you need to know your body type and know what your goal is. You know, if you're if you have the body type that is hard for you to gain weight, you need to eat more. Well, also too, also too, um, because someone says that they don't like to eat a lot, mm -hmm. but they want to be able to gain the weight. You got to understand your body, so you don't want to eat. Uh, uh, food that has low calories and expect your body to get the most of that gain because obviously you didn't have enough or sufficient food or uh, food that held you. For example, uh, if you want to gain weight, eat carbs. You understand what I'm saying? It's so simple. You want to lose weight? Don't eat carbs. Keto diet. You want to gain weight? The reverse of a keto diet. Eat mad carbs. All right? Or if you don't want to eat a lot of carbs, eat a sufficient amount of carbs so that you won't have to eat as much proteins or as much greens or something like that so that you'll be able to, to have food that will stick to your body longer. All right? Because potatoes, uh, rice, things like that is, is super filling. You don't need a whole lot to feel full. You will feel satisfied quick. Yes. That's a fact. Um, somebody had asked. Somebody had asked. Jim... Or gym or calisthenics, I believe. Come on, man. You should know the answer. Gym versus calisthenics. Unless, unless, unless you're coming to, you're just new to this channel. But calisthenics, guys. Why calisthenics? Because calisthenics consists of nothing but compound workouts, guys. Listen, I always say this, man. This is the perfect example. Let's say this is a dumbbell, right? I'm sitting down and I'm doing this right here. Right? Or even if I have two of them and I'm doing this right here, and I'm a gym guy, I, a freaking calisthenic guy is doing a chin-up instead to work on his biceps, right? But guess what? The gym guy is sitting down. He's relaxing. Y'all see the y'all see the Super Saiyan Challenge. Ain't no relaxing in the Super Saiyan Challenge. You see the sweat. You see nothing but... if you Listen, I never used to sweat. I did the Super Saiyan Challenge. I'm sweating. That's nothing but compound workouts, right? Who's going to sweat more? The guy that's doing the chin-up or the guy that's sitting down, relaxing, doing this? Who's going to burn more fat? Who's going to build more muscle? The guy that's doing the chin-up, his core is engaged. His back is engaged. A lot of muscles. So, guys, so so if I spend... Time out, time out, time out, time out. Mm -hmm. Somebody just asked, does calisthenics help in fights? Have you ever heard of Bruce Lee? Mm -hmm. You ever heard of Bruce Lee? The guy punched somebody within, you know what I mean, a one-inch punch? Come on. You ever heard of him doing two fingers push-ups? Come on. You know what I mean? Like, the, the, the things that you guys are... First of all, let me really break it down for you. Let me really break it down for you, man. Let me break it down for you. Because somebody has said, 
uh, deadlifting and squatting and stay, somebody was talking about that. Let me let you know that deadlifting, squatting, are compound exercises. Feel me? That's a fact. They are compound exercises. Those are compound exercises, guys. And so, mm -hmm. which we were considered calisthenics. Because calisthenics is a lot of, is basically using using your body weight and working on compound exercises. So if you're squatting, you're using your own body weight plus weights. Plus weights. If you're deadlifting, you're lifting your own body weight plus, plus weights. weights. And people, so, people might disagree with that, but I totally agree. Like, so look at this, right? This is the same thing as a deadlift, guys. This right here, this is the same thing as a deadlift. It's the same movement, but I'm just using strictly my body weight. So deadlifting is actually weighted calisthenics, guys. I don't care what anybody say. Deadlifting is actually weighted calisthenics. Any so, kind of workout is weighted calisthenics. Man. So I, I would say calisthenics help out my body the most because not only did I not only was I able to avoid injuries, but you know what I mean. I was able to have my body change the fastest, and I, I it's always more to be able to learn. Um, it's not that many plateaus that you could reach, and even if you feel like you're on, a, you know, you're at a space where you can't go no more. There's always more exercises, or always more things to learn as far as calisthenic goes, and that's whereas um, fighting comes into calisthenics because uh, fighting is a cal is calisthenics exercises. Yeah. Doing karate, doing jujitsu, taekwondo, doing capoeira. I don't know about I don't know about you guys, but look, let me show you guys this. Capoeira, this is some of the movements for Capoeira. Feel me? Some of the movements for Capoeira, feel me? If you, if you don't notice right there, right then and there, all you're doing is lunging. You're fucking lunging all day. All these guys be doing is lunging and staying in the fucking negative. That's all that they do is lunge and stay in the negative. If that's not calisthenics for you, I don't know what the fuck is. You feel me? If you know how to do calisthenics, you will learn how to fight. You will learn how to dance. You're, you will be in tune with your body. You'll be in tune with your body. All right, somebody You said asked, that's called Jenga, bro. No, it's Capoeira, bro. Somebody asked, what do we think about multivitamin? What do you think about? Willie Gordon asked, what do you think about multivitamin? Um, CMOS. CMOS, honestly, and you can get a lot of vitamins from your fruits, guys. Yeah. CMOS is the best thing, though. Yeah. So you guys see, we take CMOS a lot, man. Yeah. So you're trying to... It has, <laughs> over, it has over 92 minerals the body yeah. need. Ginger That's more shit that, yeah. Ginger is good for recovery, guys. Yo, Ginger, Willie G, I got you. So I'm going to send you some CMOS, bro. I got you. Yeah, hit us up on, the, um, on Instagram for the CMOS. DM us. But ginger, turmeric, all that stuff is good for recovery, guys. So you want to always... Listen, even if you eat meat, always make sure... You're still eating your fruits, you're eating your veggies. Make sure you're eating your fruits and your veggies and your carbs. Cause those are needed, man. Those are very important, guys. Yo, George, don't be ignorant in this situation, bro. I'm not saying it's not called Jenga, but I'm letting you know that's also a capoeira move, bro. We we've been taking capoeira classes and these are things that we're learning. So I'm not I'm not knocking what you're telling me, but you know what I mean? I'm just letting you know. Feel me? I see. Somebody said, um, "Can you eat fruit and keto?" I believe you can. I don't remember. I believe you can. And honestly, for me, honestly, guys, keto diet is not something I would recommend somebody should do for the rest of their life. I would say keto is like if you're yeah, trying, you 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 just do that to, to lose weight. weight. Yeah. Once you lose your weight, once you get to your goal, get back to a regular, you know, <laughs> eating basis. Like you still want to make sure you're eating your carbs, guys. Like that's like a. That's like a diet you, you sacrifice for to you reach your yeah, goal. Keto, yeah, not keto, because um, you want to make sure, that, yeah, Kiara is very right. On the keto, you want to make sure you stay away from uh, uh, fruits and carbs, because the fruits will give you energy, and carbs will give you energy. So, because the, the fruits, you know, the natural sugars. So, you want to stay away from that, because you want to make sure that the keto diet, which is going to target your fat, and make sure that you use that fat for energy, so you don't use... No sugar, you stay away from sugar, you stay away from fruits, you stay away from carbs. We got 107 people watching this live. I only got 88 likes, man. Smash the like button, guys. More likes than viewers. Yo, shout outs to Call of Duty again. Thank you for donating $4. He said, Salute. Salute, man. 
preparing to, for the peak training. All right, somebody asked, do you guys fast? We do intimate fasting. Intimate fasting. That's another way you can, if you're trying to get on a caloric deficit, that's a, that's a good strategy for you to do, fasting. So you only eat between like, um, between like an eight hour period. So what, what we do is like between 12 and eight, we'd only eat between 12 and eight. And after that, boom, that's it. So like 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. Some people push it to like 12, 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. You know, but they would eat like every two hours though. You know, you want to make sure within those time period, you're eating at least every two hours. And like you said, don't eat till you're so full and you can't do nothing. Not nah, eat till you're satisfied. I want that a cream supreme diet. Yo, I came, I came eat ten times a day, bro. Yeah, yeah I man. came eat ten times a day, and he works hard. And listen, his body type is different, guys. I came lift weights, and yeah, he lift weights and he does calisthenics, and his body type is different, guys. Some people, like he's a very big dude. He's a very huge dude. So he would he would actually need to eat more compared to somebody like me. Honestly, it's gonna be it's harder. Yo, Willie G, it's harder to to yo Willie G. That's what you want, bro. I'm sorry, bro. You that you want that. Body. I'm sorry that you want that, bro. Because it's hard to maintain that type of diet. Yeah. Bro. It's hard to maintain that type of diet, and on top of that, your body, you know why it's hard to maintain that type of diet? Because your body is not used to that type of, you know what I mean? Bam Bam, yo, ask Bam Bam. Yeah, yeah, I tried. Yo, Bam Bam told me this, because when I met Supreme Akeem, Bam Bam was doing the, I want to eat 10 times a day. That's when I realized, because I'm like, yo, Bam Bam, why you eating so much, bro? He like, yo, bro, I want to get big like Akeem, son. And Akeem told me he eat 10 times a day. I was like, yo, bro, that shit's not going to help you, bro. That's just gonna hurt you. Within how many days, bam? Yeah, within like freaking. What? How many days? Three days. I three think. days. It took Bam three days, and he had to, and he was hospitalized. Yeah. You heard Willie G? It took him three days, Willie G, and Bam was hospitalized, and that's when he learned he had that stomach problem, and then he had to get surgery. You feel me? Yeah. Your body can't keep up with shit like that, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's body is different. That's you feel okay. me? Uh, what he's eating ten times, Bam wasn't eating that at ten times. You know what I mean? Yeah. Did, did, you know what I mean? So you gotta listen. You gotta know your body. You gotta, and that's why I'm trying to tell you guys. I came supreme, bro. Go check out the. Go check Yo, out. Go his check out China. I came supreme. Yeah, I came supreme. Yo, one go of the legends, out, man. Go check out his, his page as well. What about Endo Champ, man? Shout out to Endo Champ. Endo Champ. Endo Champ. You know Endo Champ. Oh, the guy that. Yeah. Tell him about Endo Champ. I ain't going right? front. Um, shout out to Endo Champ, man. You kill everybody with kindness. You know what I'm saying? I actually met Endo Champ. Um, at the airport one day, flying around, we go. I'm going somewhere. He going somewhere, and um, I met him, and we we exchanged information, and we was gonna do a video and stuff like that. And the chance said he's gonna do a video with me, um, and then when I contacted him, we talking. I was in the hospital because my baby was being born. He called me up, says, "Yo, let's do this video." I'm like, "Alright, cool." And then he let me know that um, it's gonna be like twenty five hundred dollars an hour, and I was like, "Huh?" And he was like, yeah, bro, it's going to be $2,500 an hour for the video. And I was like, you know what's funny? I was considering it. I was like, you know what? I can't, I respect the ground because that's how you make your money. I, you know what? Yeah, I, could, yeah. I could give you something. But $2,500, bro, I don't think you're worth that for an yeah, hour type shit. Hour, man. I don't think you're worth that. I could give you, you know what I mean? I'd probably give you like a stack or some shit yeah. like that. Like, you know what I mean? If you if you really going through some hard times, but real talk, I'm I just had my baby, so I don't need to be spent giving you twenty five hundred just for a video for now, an guess hour. What? Brawley, Brawley's channel is about to. I'm, I'm actually about to pass his uh, subscribers. He's about to but, pass his subscribers, but it doesn't man. even matter. Um, Bam Bam told me, yo, bro, don't do it, cause I was I was gonna give him the money. I was gonna give him like a stack, negotiate or something. But Bam Bam was like, yo, bro, don't do it, son. Your shit gonna grow, bro. You don't even need to do that. So, shout out to NDO champ for, you know what I mean? For, more than for me. even considering. I don't know yeah. what he was considering. Yeah. But, Yo, you know guys, what I mean? Do us a favor, man. Go to NDO champ Instagram and comment, man. Let him know he fucked up yeah. for not doing a video with Broly, you heard? Yeah, man. <laughs> True subscribers, Sensu Gang. All right, somebody asked, man, is it good to work out on a fasted stomach? Um. Honestly, I wouldn't recommend that, man. I would not recommend That's the best time to work out. On a fasted stomach. Yes. It depends on how long you're fasting, though. That's what I'm saying. So, if you're so, fasting for days. Yo, believe it or not, believe it or not, guys, 
The best time to work out is in the morning when you wake up. Mm -hmm. In the morning when you wake up is the best time to work out. Why? Because you haven't eaten yet. Your body has gone through, is in a fast. So now when you go and work, you actually will burn more calories faster because you just woke up. Because you just woke up, your body will change fast. You'll get more results if you wake up and go work out. You feel me? Before you eat. And then when you finish, when you finish your workout, hold on, hold on, because they ain't going nowhere. Yeah. When you finish your workout, make sure, you feel me, you go eat right. Eat smart, eat healthy. And guess what? You won't have to eat until you're full. You will eat until you're satisfied and you'll feel energized to go about the rest of your day. You feel me? So when you wake up in the morning, the first thing you, first do. Thing you do, stretch, work out. And if you feel hungry in the morning, don't eat, like drink tea. Drink ginger drink, tea. Drink, 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 ginger tea will drink help. Drink liquid. Feel, yep. Will help Warm feel liquid. Yep. And also, if you're doing intermittent fasting, if you if you get hungry after like eight o'clock, drink tea too. It will yep. help you feel full and you, you burn more fat that way. Yo, shout outs to um what's shout outs yo shout outs to Snipe Jazar man donated five dollars. He said, hey, can you teach us how to do that handstand push up that <laughs> like you did earlier, Broly? Also. <laughs> I got you, bro. No problem. I accidentally, I actually accidentally went into that, um, uh, acquired that skill. You uh, know what I mean? Somebody asked, do you think intermittent fasting is effective for for building muscle? It depends on your. It, listen, if you're if you're a fat guy, right? You're a fat guy, and you're trying to lose weight. You're trying to get more. No, no, he want to bulk up. If you want to bulk up, you shouldn't do intermittent fasting. You see, it, I think he said building muscle. You can build muscle doing intermittent fasting, but that's if you're already a fat, you're already like a fat guy and you're trying to get more lean and cut. Yeah. At food, when I'm bulking up, because I ain't going to front, I started the winter bulking up, and then because of the Super Saiyan challenge, I had to turn it down. You know what I'm saying? So I, to, I cut down my body percent fat. But when bulk up season time is, we wake up, we wake up and eat dinner for breakfast. Whatever we, we ate for dinner, potatoes, kalaloo, feel me? Feel, Yo, shots, carrots. Shots we're not eating, right we're not eating no pancakes, eggs. We're not eating that shit. We eating dinner for breakfast when you want to bulk up. That's how you bulk. Yeah, you eat heavy. You eat heavy. Yeah. And then you're going to see that your body's going to last for another four or five hours. And then guess what? You eat heavy again. Yeah. Eat heavy for breakfast, eat heavy for lunch, eat heavy for dinner. You only have to eat three meals. You just eat heavy, that's all. So somebody said, so when bulking, no fasting. It's not that it's not, well, yeah. Yo, not so watch this, so watch this, watch this. For us right now, we only eat, how many times you ate today, Ben? Like three times. Three times, you feel yeah. me? I ate, I ate one time. Yeah, he goes crazy with it. He I goes, ate one time He goes today. insane with it. And I don't even know, like, see that, see, and that's how you gotta know your body type too. Because Irvin is another person I know that eats like Broly and still doesn't really lose weight, like still stays at 200 pounds. I got to kind of eat a little more than them to keep up with their weight. So we have different body types. I'm not worried about my weight, yeah. though. Bam yeah. Bam, yeah. Bam, Bam would be worried about his weight yeah. and stuff like that. I don't give a fuck about that. You feel me? Bam got an ass on his chest. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about my weight. All I care about is how my body feel, how your body feel. You know what I mean? A lot of guys, you want to bulk up, but it's more healthy to stay lean and yes, shredded. Yes. I have, like for me, I have a shredded, lean, bulky look. Like I have the best of both worlds. Yes, yes. the He's best right. of both worlds. Right. You know what and, I mean? And when I met him, he actually told me like, "Yo, you're a little puffy, bro. Like you gotta." Cut it down. And that was the thing too, is like I was bulk I was so bulky, my abs wouldn't really show. It would just be like, you know, and there was really no cuts in definition. And then when I, you know, he put me on to how he eats and also like also how he trains, the training. Um, yeah, because as y'all see, I swear, there is no limit. There is no limit. So that's why I'm like, yo, after this, bro, we might as well just do 10,000 push-ups in one day. There is no limit. For me, there's no limit. I don't know about I don't know what you guys been doing or thinking when feel me? I, I'm new to this to this YouTube game. So I don't know what everybody else been doing. But whoever with me, y'all part of Sensu Gang and y'all saying, y'all gonna see we doing reps. We rapping the fuck out. We doing thousands and thousands and thousands. 
There's no limit, man. We turn up. You see that meter that used to read people in the, in the Dragon Ball Z? That shit break when they, when they see us, man. Feel me? So somebody asked, when to cut and when to bulk? So... Come on, man. Time out. What do you mean? I just told you. Look at me. I don't give a fuck about cutting up. Fuck about bulking up. So... I ain't gonna front. In the winter time, the reason why I bulk up in the winter time mm -hmm. is because I bulk up in the winter time. I turn that fat that I literally want to gain fat in the winter time. Why? Because when I gain fat in the winter time, I'm able to turn that fat into muscles. You understand what I'm saying? So the better I look, you know what I mean, and the more energy I have. So that's the only reason why I bulk up in the winter time. Honestly, you gotta know your body yeah, though. You gotta know your body. That's, yeah. the, that's why I looked at you like that, because the main thing is not bulking up yeah. or leaning. There's the no... main thing is about feeling good yep. about yourself. Yep. You gotta know your body, know yourself, know what makes you happy. Know what see, I used to like being all bulky. Then people started telling me, like, yo, you look so good with this um cut, shredded. So I stay like this. There's no perfect time to bulk or perfect time to cut. You just need to. I ain't gonna front. Yo, like my, like my guy Gumby be saying, sometimes we got people right here, and sometimes we got somebody all the way over there. And I think we got right now, we got somebody all the way over there. Because somebody just said, you can't turn fat into muscles. It's a myth. That's a myth. Yo, please, my guy, I love you, bro. Sosa, go add the group, uh, Sensu Gang on Facebook, Sosa, and send me a picture of yourself, bro. I want to see if you have muscles, bro. Because I want to see how the fuck you turned or what you look like. Because, you feel me? I was born with baby fat. And, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Turn up Super Saiyan. We got the muscles. So, I don't know what you're talking about, bro. You can't turn. The keto diet alone That's changes that. your fat, uses it as energy, and turns it into muscles if you exercise, bro. Please, man. Please. Burn fat, build muscle. Don't be confused, bro. Yeah. You burn fat and you build muscle, bro. Don't be confused, that's how you bro. Turn it. Don't be confused, bro. That's how you turn it. That's why I get my that's why in the winter time I get I, I try to gain more fat. Yeah, do you eat do y'all eat sensory bean? Of course we yeah, do. Yeah, man. <laughs> Chickpeas, the lentils, the sea <laughs> moss. Sea moss, you know what I'm saying? Is there any way that I can pay you to help me diet plan to gain 30? So guys, we're coming up with a program next month. Yep. Um, it's gonna we're gonna have diet plans for you guys to follow. Yep. And a workout for you guys to follow. It's not gonna be as crazy as the Super Saint Challenge. It's something that's gonna, you know, cater to helping you build that muscle on a day-to-day -day basis. So make sure you guys tune in for that, man. But follow us. Make sure you join our group Sensor Gang if you want more details. But also, you want to follow us with the Super Saint Challenge. It's going to help you, man. And join the group. Because we're going to be posting what we're eating in the group, too, to get people um, get people engaged. Y no fast food. food. No fast not, food. That's what you want. No that's fast what you food. don't want to do. Stay away from fast food, guys. Stay away from fast food. Cook your food. Listen, we're in 2021, man. Y'all see all the craziness, all the madness that's going on, man. JR is S-E-N-Z-U gang. Food trucks? Nah, bro. Yeah. That's fast Listen, food, bro. McDonald's? Listen, man. McDonald's? Stay away from McDonald's. Because what you're going to be doing when you eat a burger from McDonald's, you, eat, you might be eating somebody's kid. You just might be eating somebody's kid if you're eating McDonald's, man. All those burgers are fake, bro. So, just forget about... Just stay away from McDonald's, Burger King, all these fast food places. Stay away from that. Cook your food at home, guys. Cook all your food at home. What's up, man? What they asking? Taco truck? No, no taco truck. No taco trucks, man. What pictures on the profile is me and Bam Bam? No Pizza Hut, no taco, none of that. Yes. Guys, listen, if you want to really go hard, you got to eat as, listen, eat as healthy. Uh, it's a 100% diet and 100% training. So you gotta eat as healthy as you train, guys. Yo, George, I'm not trying to say, bro, that, you feel me? All I'm trying to say is, bro, is that that's one of the movements in Capoeira and that's something that we learned, bro. So if you don't think that that's right, then you are being ignorant in that situation, bro. So I ain't gonna front. 
You ever work out while stoned? Yeah, I used yeah. to do it all the time. He used to do it, and he used to kill it too, man. All the time. All right, so somebody asked, what do you do to get lean? Right now, what I did... Just super Saiyan Challenge. I did the Super Saiyan Challenge, and I, I, I literally got on the caloric deficit, basically, because I was doing intermittent fasting. Like, usually before I met Brawley, I used to eat a lot in the morning. Of course, I'll still drink my tea, but I would eat a lot in the morning, in the afternoon, and at night. But um, I met Broly. Broly kind of introduced me to the intermittent fasting thing. Well, it, just living with him, I would just naturally have to do intermittent fasting. And um, so that's what I've been doing. Basically, it's not a crazy caloric deficit, but it's like a, it is a caloric deficit. And I got more lean cut and shredded. Doing these the endurance rep too, I'm burning fat and building muscle at the same time. Exactly. Um, ben asked a really good question. He said, uh, what's your fasting cycle? So we don't eat in the morning until like I my, the first time I ate today was at four p.m. Yeah, the first time I the only time the first and the only time I ate today was at four p.m. See that? And it's now like two or three p.m. right now. See that? Me the first I mean two three, two or three a.m. right now. I I didn't eat till one um, p.m. today, and the last time I ate was like at um, eight p.m. I believe eight p.m. and that's it. See so guys, caloric deficit. If you want to get more lean and cut, same thing. And like you said earlier, man, the caloric deficit is one of the best diet for longevity. You know, like you can't always be on a caloric surplus. Of course, if you want to gain muscles and blah blah, that's cool. But as far as longevity, like all these bodybuilders are, are on a caloric surplus. Now compare somebody like. Um, Freaking Arnold Schwarzenegger to Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee definitely looks like he was in a caloric deficit. He just looks like it. You can just tell he was in a caloric deficit. So who who do you guys feel would live longer, Bruce Lee or Arnold Schwarzenegger? You know, the, with the type of physique they have, the type of um, training. Yeah, even the way they move, you could tell. So I'm not saying there's anything bad with a caloric surplus, but I'm just saying, like, if you want to live longer, you want to... You want to do caloric deficit because the older you get, of course, you can't keep eating as much. I both brood like Michael J. White. <laughs> Is Michael Sheet on steroids? I don't think Michael Sheet's on steroids, man. But I do feel like he's on the caloric surplus. You can tell by the way his body is. Like, he's eating a lot. He's eating a lot. Where's Scott Bernhard, man? Yo, shout out to Scott. Where's so, Scott at, right? We got to get yeah. Scott on the challenge. So we got 161 people watching this live. Why we only got 129 likes? Smash the like button, guys. What's up? I got some people I got some people that just added us on Sensu Gang. So Yo. if y'all see me looking down, that's what I'm doing. Listen. I'm adding you guys on the Sensu Gang. Listen, add the, add the group right now. Sensu Gang. Y'all see it? Sensu Gang. Add the group. Join the group. We're going to be posting while we're eating during the day. We're going to be engaging I see you, Sosa. So. Give me a second, Sosa. So. <laughs> keep up the roy, keep up the roy work. Thank you, man. Thank you, yeah. um, Toronto. Keep up the roy work. We Thank ain't got you. no roy work, bro. We ain't got no steroids out here. <laughs> you want to know the steroids? CMOS. Let's go. Let's go. Listen, man. Nah, take CMOS though, bro. Yeah, CMOS is mad good for you, for real. For Listen, real. that's the best steroids you ever take, bro. Yeah. What about the Rock? Yo, y'all see the Rock, man? And the Rock, too, the Rock actually admitted that he took roids when he was a teenager. Big he facts. He still be taking roids. You don't know. Yo, Jaquan, like, give me some push-ups, man. <laughs> Jaquan not playing. But yeah, like... Sosa, what's your name? What's your name on Facebook, Sosa? I would, I would try the Rock's diet, but that shit would make my stomach hurt, man. Eating all those pancakes. Jordan RB, I got you, I got you. Join our group right now, guys, if you're watching this, man. Where can I find a high-quality CMOS? You can DM me or DM Broly Games for the CMOS. Yep. We got you, man. Big facts. We we'll send it over your way. Um, so somebody asked, how many calories do you eat in a day? I don't count calories. I don't count calories, man. I, I don't have the time to be counting calories, honestly. And like I said, I listen to my body instead of counting calories. I listen to my body. I used to do the counting calories thing, but guess what happened? I got stomach pain and all that. I just listen to my body now. 
You know, I don't even care about getting bigger or getting smaller. I just listen to my body. Call of Duty, shout out, shout out to Call of Duty again for donating $5.7. Ah! Thank you. Salute, bro. Thank you, bro. Last question, how do you stay motivated? How do you guys deal with hardship, man? <sighs> listen, I say this all the time, man. I never stay motivated, bro. Maybe sometimes, some days are good, but most of the days, I don't, I'm not motivated, guys. I have built a discipline. I have surrounded, I have also surrounded, surrounded myself with people that have built discipline and it will help me increase my discipline. We pop up on the live to do the Super Saiyan challenge no matter what. No matter how he had a freaking neck injury, I had a freaking surgery, we still popping up because we have built that discipline that no matter what, we're gonna show up and pop out. No matter what. You need to build that discipline. Figure out how you can build discipline. Know your habits. Know what, know what it is that is bad about you. Like I said, a good example is I know one thing I used to do, right? I would leave my phone next to me for the alarm to wake up early. I would leave it next to me. And when the alarm goes off, I easily press the snooze button and I go back to sleep. When I, used to, when I realized that I'm like, yo, I'm not waking up early because I keep leaving the phone next to me. So what I did was I would put the phone on the dresser, which is far away from me. So when the alarm goes off, I would have to stand up, get up and pick it, pick it up and stop it. By the time I do that, I'm already standing up. I'm going to the shower to go do what I have to do. So know your habits that would help you build that discipline. Because guys, you're never going to be, you're never always going to be motivated. That's impossible. There's no human being on this earth that's always motivated every single day. I mean, how do you feel like? I mean, he has a lot of energy. Do you feel like you're motivated every day, bro? Honestly, motivation, um, I am motivated every day. Oh, shit. I ain't gonna front. I may not feel like I want to do it. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes you just feel like you don't want to work out. Sometimes you don't feel like you want to, you know what I mean, get up. Sometimes you don't feel like you want to do things, you know what I mean? But no matter what, I know that, you know what I mean, I got to do it. In the back of my head, I won't feel good until I get my shit done. Um, the thing is about motivation, it's just like the pain. It's just like pain, you know what I mean? You got to, everybody goes through pain. You need motivation. All you got to do is think about all that pain that you go through. Whatever gets you tight. Shit gets you stressed the fuck out. Your girl want to act up? Use that energy. Emotions is energy in motion. Mm -hmm. Any emotion that you have, you can use that motion to give you that motivation to do whatever you need. All you need is emotion. And guess what? You're human. So you have emotions. You see how you see how how hyped up I get because my emotions is in motion right now. He is motivated right I'm now. I'm I'm motivated right now, right now, because I'm talking about pain. I'm thinking about struggle. I'm thinking about all that shit that makes me feel like I can't go no more. And guess what? I go past that. Oh, I can't do it. I love it. I love to hear. I can't do it. What? I love to hear, I can't go no more. What? I love to hear, yo, I love to hear when people say that. I be, I'm the people, I'm meeting in the gym, and I look at somebody, and they look like they dying. Guess what? Don't put me next to them. Don't put me next to them. If, if I see you dying, I might, be about, I might be dying too. Oh, shit. Oh, my gosh. I look at you dying. Ah! You just gave me motivation. Because no matter what, yo, shout out to our men for, for, for donating $4. Because no matter what, you, I see that emotion in your body. I see that pain going through your body. So you just gave me energy, feel me, to pop out, bro. Even if I think, if I, if I just talk about this shit, I want to do push-ups. I'm ready to do squats. I'm ready to do some animal flow. I'm ready to just turn up. I'm ready to be in some pussy. I'm ready to kill it out. I don't know about you guys, but I can't, I, 
That's why I try to calm, bro, chill, chill. Don't think about the pain. Don't think about the struggle. I'm from the hood. You feel me? So all I got to do is be in tune with what, what's going on in the earth. Be in tune with all this struggle to everybody. Yo, so much people going, there's so much people out there that's doing so much worse than you. Yes. There's so much people out there that's not eating right now. Yeah, man. There's so much people out there that's not, you know what I mean? They can't sleep right now because they don't got beds. You know what I'm saying? And so, yo, I, yo, I remember one of my first times I tried to be charitable. I took like mad food that I had from like a holiday, Christmas, one of those shits, and I brought it to a shelter and I tried to give them the food. You know what they told me? They can't give the people at the shelter the food because they can't accept outside food. What I should do is leave the food, the big ass pans, just leave it on the ground in the front. But wait, wait, but, but then the security guard said, yo, hold on, hold on. That's jerk chicken? Let me get a piece real quick before you go throw it on the floor. Let me get a piece. I'm like, all I got to do is think about that pain. Think about how much people out there struggling. There's no fucking way in hell I'm going to stop. What's wrong with you, man? What's wrong with you stopping, Ooh, man? Shouts to Kiara. Yo, shouts to Kiara for donating. $25. We got, we're in a pandemic right now. Thousands and thousands of people is dying just because the government want to be fucked up. And guess what? You have a chance to live. Yo, think about that. Harness you that. Have. Harness that energy to be your own vaccine. You have a chance to live. People are dying. People are dead. And you still have the chance to live. That right there should motivate you. Yo, yo, what if you die tomorrow? Yeah. What if you die tomorrow? Anything can happen in life. You never know what the fuck is going to happen. You never know when the hell you're going to wake up. All those days that you wake up and you're blessed. So, being the fact that that's the case... If you die tomorrow, would that mean that you'll be satisfied with your life? For me, I'm good. I put in every last ounce of energy that I needed to, whatever was the last thing I did, I went hard at it. Yep. If I was in the pumps, I did the deep, my fault. When I was in the pumps, I did the deepest strokes. You feel me? When I was in the pushes, I did the, the most longest range that I could. You understand what I'm saying? So I'll be comfortable. I'll be satisfied. I live my life like that. Feel me? That's you feel fact. me? That's a fact, guys. You feel me? No homo, no homo, buddy. Nah, you know nah, what I'm saying? Nah, that's a fact. That was it, uh, but that's a fact. No matter what you do, you gotta give it a hundred motivation percent. Yo, just think about just think about that pain, yo. Yeah. Yo, think about your parents, cause I know your parents went through so much pain. They showed you how to how to live, son. Think about all that shit that your parents go through. Think about losing one of those people. You know what I'm saying? Yo, when I'm in the gym, when I used to be in the gym lifting weights and shit, in order to get my next rep out, I thought about somebody fucking my girl. Damn, somebody just fucked my girl. Somebody stole my money. Oh! Don't steal my bread. It's over. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rip this whole shit up. <laughs> and listen, man. You feel me? When you working out, you go through pain. You meditating, man. Pain is one of the best ways to <laughs> meditate. Like what he's doing right there is just meditating. He's meditating and he's, he's, he's enhancing his meditation, guys. So when pain actually happens to him in real life, if somebody actually end up smashing his girl in real life, I'll be all right. He'll be all right. I'll be all right. He's pushed himself through the pain. That's a fact. We get so. Yo, and that's the thing, man. Dead ass. Once you understand pain, it builds you, Yo. stress, all that. Guys, what is bad, what is good? We're taught that these things are so negative. These things are so bad. All of this is just energy. Believe it or not, if you learn how to utilize this energy, you can change your whole spiritual, mental, uh, 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 physical body, embodiment. You know what I mean? You can change who you are as a person for the better. You know what I mean? Somebody hurts you. You could retaliate with love. Yes. You know what I mean? Some people, somebody betray you. You could, yo, I love it when somebody betray me, man. Yo. Oh, man. I, I saw my guy Gumby was talking about betrayal the other day. And he was telling, he, I remember he was saying, don't forgive, don't forget, all that stuff, you know? <gasps> betrayal is one of the most beautiful things, guys. Betrayal is one of the most beautiful things. Yo. And guys, it's all about reality, you know? Like, it's all about reality, man. Betrayal, um, 
It's gonna happen. Yeah, it's gonna happen. First of all, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. And if you understand that you're gonna go through pain, you're gonna understand you're gonna go, you're gonna go through betrayal. Yes. You feel me? So you won't be shocked and surprised. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They betrayed me. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. They were no, you won't be shocked and you won't be surprised. You'll be prepared. And if you, if you're able to handle that with love at, at the end of the day, if you're able to handle anything with love, especially in business, yo. That's why I love betrayal. That's where I love. That's why I learned to love betrayal. Because before, you know, you know, your friend betray you, your family betray you. You're like, damn, that shit hurts, man. Yo, Jay Coyne, you keep saying it, bro, but we're gonna talk a little bit. You know what I mean? We're gonna get the push-ups when we gonna get the push-ups, bro. You should've go just go rewind the Super Saiyan Challenge you got 14 video, bro. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? Like, like betrayal is important. That's why I learned in business. That you need betrayal, you know what I mean? Because the person, especially in business, the person that betrays you in business, now you, it's like chess. Now you got leverage over them. You know what I mean? Now you got leverage over that person. You know what I mean? So all you do is continue to grow, continue to build, because as your shit grows, they betrayed you. They see your shit grow. Keep them, first of all, you keep your enemies close, man. Keep your enemies close. The people that you know is going to betray you, you should have already known that. Yes. You should have already known that they was going to betray you. Yes. And on top of that, you should have them in some type of box that that box is the only thing that they can betray. They can't go outside that box and betray that. You know what I mean? For example, like, yo, don't be surprised if I, can, I can't be surprised, right? If Bam Bam smashed my girl, if all I do is put Bam Bam and my girl together by themselves. I just set myself up for that. You understand what I'm saying? So I can't be mad if Bam Bam, you know what I mean, smash my girl and all I do is go let them chill with each other. Here, yeah, here, y'all. Y'all take $20. Y'all go to them, go see the movies together. I don't care. I'm gonna go, you know what I'm saying? Like, you only allow certain people to do certain things. Bam Bam is my brother. You feel me? But he ain't gonna chill with my girl. Fuck out of here. And I'm Bam Bam's brother. You feel me? Bam Bam can ask me to chill his girl. I'm like, nah, bro. That's not cool. You apply it to business as well. Yo, you know that this person is your business partner. This person is your, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 do that. You want to make sure that you keep them in a certain realm of business. Don't bring them closer to the point and you have them so much in your life that they know every single nicks and cranny to how you live your life so they also know your strength and all your weaknesses. Yes. That's your fault. And somebody said a real bro doesn't cross the line. Definitely. And that's what me and me and brothers actually have a conversation about this. I'm like, there is principles and bros will never cross the line, bro. He said something to Fuck me. Fuck all that. He said something that makes sense. He was like, Crazy, bro, bro. People are just human beings. Everybody human. You can't expect nobody to follow the same principles that you follow. <laughs> Bam smash everything. Nah. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that, but that's... Yo, it doesn't even matter, though. I would not put myself in a situation... No, no, fuck that. Fuck that. Uh -huh. That's blue pill. That's what you got to understand. Fuck him even thinking that. Because I'm already a step ahead of that. You feel me? Bam Bam can go smash whoever the fuck he want to go smash. You should. You're a man. If you want to fuck, bro, fuck. You feel me? If Bam Bam get in a situation where he fucks my girl, I'm fucked up. Not him. I fucked up. Okay? But there is no there is no other explanations. There is no, oh, there is the principles. There is none of that. Because his principles and my principles might be different. We are two different. We are human, but we're two, we have two different brains. We think differently. So you gotta be realistic. There's always a possibility. It's a possibility, man, to go fuck mad at my girls. But guess what? I will make sure that if I have him in my realm. He won't be able to unless I allow that. Come on, man. And that's my brother. You, you, everybody should have a certain level in your life of doing things. Yes, and Even your mother. My mom got, my mom can't do certain things with me. I'm like, yo, mama love. They said, man, take your last But, but, turn around. You know what I mean? But, like I said, man. I don't give a fuck. Listen, Bam can think about smashing my girl. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. The nigga human. If you want to think about it, you can think about it. That makes me feel better at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> I would Yo, never. You can't be you can't be insecure in that way. That's just being insecure. You feel me? Him being human and having urges is him being human and having urges. How he act after that will determine if he's a good character to be in my life or not. That's what you need to realize, man. Yeah. You feel me? And that's the thing, you know, like, that's my brother. I would not do something that, that would be weird to do. But he does, he has a point, but that's just, you see, we, we do think differently. People do think differently. But at the end of the day, it's like, what's, what happens after that? You know, that would, that, that can fuck up, that can alter our relationship. And I wouldn't, I would not risk that. What's, what? more, what's more important? Oh, yeah. What's more important, man? Uh, 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 whatever, 30 minute pleasure? Or could it even been faster than that? <laughs> For like a long term relationship? Nah, yeah, man. man. Everybody got different principles. Yeah. Everybody, Everybody got different, different strokes, man. But Diff he is, he is right. Different folks, and different strokes, yeah. man. He is right, though. You feel me? When, when, he, when he says that, he's trying to say, like, forget about, forget about me. I could have been another person. If he's always. If you always put whoever in that box, it's like you can never get a chance to, to do something. Now, nah, but yo, Willie G. Willie G said you don't even let your girl talk to your homeboy. You can't have it like that, though, bro. You can't have it like that because what if you get into a situation like, for example, Bam Bam lives with me, bro. Bam Bam lives with, with, lives with me. You know what I mean? So if my girl come through, she going to see him too. Now, let's keep the respect there. Let's keep the respect there. But at the end of the day, they're not going to chill with each other. Yeah. You feel me? Not on the regular. Yeah, not on the regular. You're absolutely right about that, Willie. Yeah, not on the regular. But as I was saying, guys, back to the money. Back to the money. You want to keep your enemies close. At my job, that helped me grow. Feel me? At my job, I was one of the only black guys there. I was one of the only, feel me, black guys who's from the hood. Two at that at my job. You know what I'm saying? So all I did to be able to move up, and I've been doing my job for about four to five years, if somebody don't like me, I keep them close because then I understand why they don't like me. I find out their strength and their weaknesses, and then I use it against them. And then they think that I'm their best friend when in all actuality, you're my enemy, but I don't want to let you know that. Why am I going to tell you that? You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, my boss see that even if the people don't like me, I still work well with them and help them grow. Guess who gets the promotion? You do. Come on. Guess who gets the promotion? Oh, man. He, that's he, I, he brings everybody together. And that's what I like. have everybody working. And that's we need the, that guy. That's the beautiful thing about love, guys. You get to manipulate the system with love. Yo, guys. In this calisthenic games in Brooklyn, there's a lot of guys who don't like each other. Yeah. Yo, a lot of guys don't like me. Yeah. Because I just started my YouTube page. You know what I'm saying? And I've grown a lot. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And the shit that I'll be doing, a lot of people can't do. Woo! Shout outs to to to, to K. She donated five dollars, or he don't. Wait, he donated five dollars. Y'all bless folks with these workouts and diet games. Thank you, bro. Only right. All right. A lot of people. A lot of people don't like Bam Bam. Yeah. Because of Bam Bam's page. Yeah. But hey, guess what? We all friends. We all keep it all cool. You feel we me? Feed, we feed off of that and yeah. still kill it with love. I think. Kill it with just kill everybody with kindness. Yo, you guys see me? I'm always smiling, man. That's no all. No matter what, I am always smiling. Goku pump. It, it takes like it takes a lot, like a lot to not get me to smile. Like I like. Like you gotta go like two hundred percent, not a hundred percent, two hundred percent. Yeah, man. And I still might give you a smile at the end of the day, man. Because guess what? I'm not gonna let whatever you do stress me out or just alter my happiness. You get what I'm saying? Like guys, kill everything with love, and you will be more successful. And no, no matter what you do, you will be more successful. Yeah, the first thing you do when somebody gets you mad, smile at them. Yeah. Smile, laugh at them real yeah. quick. You literally get, you got upset, so literally just laugh. Like, yo, I know this person did not just hit my car. Like, <laughs> let it out real quick. You know what I mean? Let your energy in motion, get it, go in motion, stay in motion, and release it. And then you'll be able to think better, man. Come on. I'm telling you. So let's see what, you guys have some diet questions. Uh, let me see. People find out anything. To hate about, yo, I love my, I love my haters. 
if I have, the more haters I have, that means I'm doing something right. Feel me? You can't please everybody. Real talk. Um, I think you answered this right. What do you do if you don't mind sharing? I don't know. Just answer whatever question yeah. you want, bro. What, so what we do, honestly, what I do right now, is I'm a full-time YouTuber, guys. I do this for you guys. It's what I do full-time. Um, yeah, inspire, motivate as much people as I can, man. Yo, man. Bring happiness to the world. This, this guy worked mad hard, man. I don't know nobody that works as hard as this guy does, especially with the YouTube shit, man. You feel me? My, 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 my I'm an electrical engineer. Uh... And stuff like that in the daytime, um, but COVID, I don't have to. I don't work as much, so I do a lot of YouTube and as well. Yo, you Batman's me? gonna be trying to get. Y'all see that Batman soon. video real soon? Man. COVID, <laughs> COVID. And make sure you go subscribe to my page too, Brody Games. Yeah, you subscribe to his page, Brody Games. Is calisthenics cardio? No, cardio is no. It's strength based it's cardio. Yeah, I would consider it strength based cardio, but not just cardio. Like it just can't be cardio. It can't just can't be cardio because some of it consists of endurance training, some of it consists of strength training. Hmm. What did Brawley mean when he said that's blue pill? So you wanna answer that? Red pill, blue pill, red pill, blue pill, man. Red pill, blue pill. Um, red pill basically is about Think about the Matrix, you know what I mean? When Neo was presented by Morpheus with the red pill or the blue pill, Morpheus said to him, I will show you a world that's gonna show you about a lot of things that's truth. You know what I mean? I'm gonna show you the truth in the world because you've been lied to most of your life. But the shit might be scary. If you wanna know the truth, take the red pill. If you don't wanna know the truth, you wanna continue back to your old life, working and being whatever your day job is, McDonald's or whatever, take the blue pill. Illusions. So that's what it is in a real in a realistic form. A uh, red pill is opening, engaging your mental state so that you can understand what's going on in in the real world and going about that with the most uh, uh, value for yourself. All right. Blue pill is knowing that you're uncomfortable in the situation and uh. uh you, you continue to allow yourself to compromise and be uncomfortable and stay in that situation without any type of gains or any type of yeah. value for just yourself. To feel, just to feel good for the moment. For example, some guys, I'll give you an example. Some guys get married because they got some pussy. Blue pill. Or I'll give you a better example. I'll give you a better example. Some guys would work at McDonald's. Some guys work at McDonald's because they're scared to go for their dream job. They're scared to work hard in school. They're scared to, 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 to you know what I mean? Go hard at something that would make them a career. Yeah, so yeah. it's so easy to just get a regular yeah. McDonald's job to pay the rent. You know what I mean? That's blue pill. Whereas you know that, yo, listen, I'm good with my hands. I can learn very quickly. Maybe let me they, learn how to go yeah. make a, let me go learn how to build and make cars. Maybe, you know what I mean? Maybe you, you rap. Maybe you have a good talent, but you're just like, nah, man, I'd rather work in McDonald's. Nah, um, nah, nah, fuck that. Spend, you know, spend, no, 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 no. The reason why I say that the, one, the first one is because you understand that you know that you have good hands and you know that you learn quickly. So you can go, like, you can acquire a skill that makes you Feel me? Use your hands and your mind. And you can feel me? That's how I got my job because I use my hands and I learn quickly. You know what I mean? So when you know yourself, you can apply it to the real world just like a workout and get results. Woo. Red pill. Shout out to y'all all day for, for, for donating five dollars. But yeah, guys, it's not only because people always say like red pill, blue pill is about like relationships and dating. Nah, it's beyond that. From what I saw in the movie, like he said, you're you're just you're told to like you gotta pay your taxes, you gotta get a job, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. There's nothing wrong with any of that, but what what is your full truth? What makes you happy? What's your reality? Tell on, tell on. So my my guy right here said, I'm 16, and I made 100k from currency trading. My parents wanted me to quit and focus on school. Red pill. That's a red. That's that's red pill. He's asking a question. Parents said to quit and focus on school. Red pill. Yeah. 
is um, red pill would be you not listening to your parents and doing what makes you happy and what makes you more money. You made a hundred K. That's red pill. Blue pill would be you listening to your parents because you don't feel comfortable, but you're just doing it to make your parents happy. Because yeah. that, that, if you're just doing it parents, to make your parents happy, that's, that's blue pill. But honestly, focus on school. Definitely focus on school. But if you have already created some type of niche with the, that's a gift. If you're 16 years old and you made $100,000 from fucking stocks and trading, you've obviously learned something that you have acquired. And you, you know what I mean? That's a gift. And so, yo, so yo, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. Continue learning in school. But now, apply that gift as well. Learn more about the stocks as well. Because if you're making $100,000 at 16, when you're 24, you're going to be making $500,000 because you study so much stocks. But don't stop your stocks. Still apply that because, you feel me, you're making bread. You feel me? And bro, DM me, man. DM me on Instagram. Work, DM, DM me on Instagram too. Yeah, bro. Let's, let's work together let's work on these together, stocks. Bro. Let's work together <laughs> on these motherfucking stocks, bro. I'm that we, we, we. And you 16? And you 16, because we yeah. about our stocks too, bro. Yeah, you feel me? I'm 16. I made 200K for fixing hella cats. Bro, Hellcats? That's red pill. <laughs> I'm not sure what Hellcats is. I'm not sure what Hellcats is. Bam, how do you build your chest? It's so, is it genetics or all in the training? It's both, man. I'm sorry, guys, but it's- He had, guys, he had to do, he had to work out so he could build, bring out the best of his genetics. Yes. Anybody that works out, you're gonna bring out the best of your genetics. That's just a fact. That's just, it's just simple, yeah, man. Just, and if you do calisthenics, calisthenics is one of the workout that really brings out the best out of your genetics because no muscle is left behind you know like when you're doing bicep curls and all that like the most genetics you might bring out is your biceps you know? yo 0606 we don't want to choke no dogs out man we love we love animals man all right sorry you asked a good question man it's sire i like sire. that one it's college blue pill or red pill now it depends on the person it depends on the person if you're going to college to become a doctor and you know like, yo, I want to be the best doctor in the world. I got this going on, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Going to college will be red pill because like you're, you know, college is fucking hard. First of all, people talking about, oh, college is, is as, it's almost as hard as being an entrepreneur. It's still the same thing. It's still the same thing. It's almost as hard as being, as, as being an entrepreneur, especially if you're going for like, Medicine and all that is freaking so, difficult. So if you're living your full truth, your full potential, you're trying to have a, a good career that's going to make you happy as a person, then yeah. But if you're doing it, if you're doing it just to get by, like I know people that like- Yo, If you're going to college just because of your parents, yeah. don't go. Yeah. You're not going to finish. You know what I mean? If you're going to college just because your parents told you, you, you know what I mean? You're not going to finish. And if you do, you're not going to finish with- a degree that's gonna give you, you know what I mean, the most amount of money that a person could get, all right? If you're gonna go to college, guys, please make sure you take some time off to figure out what the fuck you wanna study in college because after college, you started your career. Yeah. So, red pill is, feel me, learning what the fuck is best for you. You understand what I'm saying? And setting a goal so that you could get to that goal Feel me? The best way that sh for you that you can. You understand know what I'm saying? So, you know that you're good with hands. You know that you learn fast. People, a lot of people don't know how they learn. Figure out how the fuck you learn. All right? Figure out how you learn. And then, after that, figure out what you like. As far as jobs. Because you don't want to have a job that in 10 years, 15 years, you want to kill yourself. You understand what I'm saying? You don't want to kill yourself after that. You want to do something you love because if you love it and you make money from it, you won't ever stop doing it. I love my job. I will work 25 hours a day. Ask Bam Bam. I swear to God. I will work 25 hours, leave, go to the gym because I love working out too, leave, go to sleep because I love sleeping, and then leave and, get, and wake up and then eat because I love eating and just do everything I love. You understand what I'm saying? So if you love, if you find something that you love, make money at it. I love working out. 
So I'm gonna make fucking money at it, man. And look, we've been working out every day. Every yeah. day. We love it. We love it. We love it. That's our truth. That's Feel our me? truth. That's how you're gonna be free. Yeah. That's how you're gonna be. Don't be enslaved. Don't go be flipping burgers every fucking day. Blue unless un that's blue pill. Unless you know you love flipping burgers. Yeah. Flipping burgers make your whole life turn around. Yeah. Then go ahead and flip the damn burger, son. Exactly. Be the best burger flipper you could ever be. And don't just flip the burger. Own. Go and own the spot that flips the burger. Exactly. You feel me? And listen. Own that shit. You know, it's it's red pill. Yeah. And you I, yo, ask Bam Bam. This building that we in, I own that shit. Red pill. Own your own shit. This is my castle. This is my castle. It's worth 2.5 million. I don't fucking need YouTube. I don't need that shit. I don't need to work hard at my job. I don't need to. I got 2.5 waiting. And guess what? I don't give a fuck. I'm still going to work hard. I'm going to go hard every second. Turn that 2.5 to 10.5. Turn that 10.5 to, to, to 1.3 billion. Turn that shit to infinite. Let's go. Pop out. You feel me? And I'm telling only, you. Like, you never blue pill it, bro. No, no. The only time, you could purple pill it sometimes. Like, I was working a nine to five job. I was going, go. I was going to college at the same time, and I was doing YouTube at the same time. I would only sleep for four hours. And that was because, you see, I was purple pilling it, you know? I was trying to, I was having a plan B in case YouTube doesn't work. I was trying to, you know, have something trying to be safe at the same time, but I was still making sure I was going hard at my dreams, man. I was still making sure, like, whatever I want to do, I'm doing it to the to my full potential, man. So, and guys, it's hard, you know. I'm not gonna front. It's hard out, it's hard. Some people got gotta pay rent, gotta pay bills. The matrix, we live in the matrix. But how can you maneuver the matrix? That should be the that should be a question, a question you ask yourself every single day. How can I maneuver the matrix in relationships, in my fucking job, in my fucking life? Am I just living to get by? How can I maneuver the fucking matrix, guys? Even if you're homeless, there's people that fucking sleep in the train. If they're living their truth and they're happy, then they're good. If you're going to a job every single day and you're sad, you're stressed out, you're, you're fucked up. If you're in a relationship that you're, you're meeting her every time, you're sad and you're, and, and you're stressed out, you're fucked up. You're living in the matrix, bro. Yo, you need to red pill it. Listen, man. People was asking, why am I wilding the fuck out? What you mean, bro? You have emotions, right? I just told you, energy and motion. I live my life with passion and truth. There's nothing that I speak that's a lie. I can feel this shit. You can feel this shit. It's straight passion, bro. You know what I'm saying? So if you, if you not feeling this, you need to work on your passion, bro. You need to work on your motivation, bro. You know what I'm saying? You need to turn your shit up. Cause inside of here is straight fire. Inside of here is a rage of feel me? Just passion and Fucking, I don't even know because it's gonna pop out. That's all I know. It's gonna pop out, even if it doesn't pop out through a workout. I can't. I, I, my emotions. I put them shits on my sleeve. It doesn't matter who you are. You are gonna feel me. You are gonna know me. You are gonna. I'm telling you, my shit is real. Feel me? And you are gonna learn to respect it because at the end of the day, I'm living my truth. I'm living the best that I could be. And as I as I said, if I die tomorrow. I'll be content with the way I live today because everything I was passionate about it, bro. Somebody pop out. Somebody asked, were you always like this or since you've been working out? I wasn't always like this. A lot throughout most of most of my life as a kid, I was taught to reserve myself and I was taught to hone in my energy. You feel me? Most of my life as a kid, I was taught that I have to abide by everybody's rules. I have to listen to all these grown-ups that's older than me. I have to, you know what I mean? Just because you're older than me, you're elderly, I have to call you sir, ma'am, and da, da, da. So I couldn't be myself as a kid. I'm sorry, I couldn't. And then I got to a certain age where the, the, the fucking dial broke 
And now I don't know how to stop. I really don't because I live so long without being myself. I live so long lying to myself. And it took me, I started living, like I, I started living in my 20s. That's when I was reborn because that's when I learned vulnerability. That's when I learned about pain. That's when I learned about growth. And because of these things, I learned how to be myself. I learned what made me happy. I learned how to travel, you feel me? One of the things that men should do, guys, travel the world, man. Don't let all this COVID shit deter you from traveling. Get your shit up, get your money up, because money talks. You get your money up, all these fucking millionaire people, they traveling. They traveling in their private planes, they traveling everywhere. Travel, make yourself happy, all right? You don't need, you don't only need to work out. Sometimes you need a soul search, soul seek. All right. And I've done these things. That's why I have piercings every fucking way, all in my nipples and all that, because ain't nobody can tell me shit. Feel me? Nobody can tell me shit. I know what makes me happy. I know what the fuck I want. You know what I'm saying? So you need to understand that about yourself. When I, I, I live more than half my life not being myself. And then, you know, what's crazy. This is the part that really broke the dial for me. No disrespectful to anybody out there on this type of spectrum. But one of the most realest people that I saw was gay men or gay people. You understand what I'm saying? That shit was crazy to me. A gay guy won't hold himself for nothing. He won't hold his mouth for nothing. If he wanna tell some girl some shit, he gonna tell her. If the, if the gay guy wanna wild on his boss, he gonna wild out. Meanwhile, Guys like me and Bam Bam work out, look strong, acting like we can't be ourselves. Feel me? Acting like if we get kidnapped, we can't talk shit back to the fucking kidnapper because we scared. Yo, you have the power. Know your power. Know your power. Know your truth. You feel me? Ain't no guy out there, ain't no woman out there, ain't no body out there more realer than you. You real, we real, we all real. So live your truth, son. There's no way in hell people out there wearing skirts, all this makeup, lace wigs, nails on. I don't give a fuck what it is. All this fake shit is out there. And you can't tell me that I can't walk outside screaming, ah! Because that's my motherfucking truth. Because all that pain, all that pain I go through. And, I, and I, I release it. I release that shit. You telling me I can't do that? That'll be me lying to myself. Nobody can tell me shit. Nothing. Feel me? My mom support that. My mom, my mother can't even read your comments right now. She wouldn't even be able to read what you guys are saying. But she gonna, she's going to give me and reciprocate the energy that I have. You feel me? That's all I need, son. I don't need nobody else. I don't need Bam Bam. I don't need you guys. I don't need nothing else. You feel me? And you guys need to realize that about yourself. And then at the end of the day... There's nothing that can't stop you, man. That's a fact. Nothing. No matter how, no matter what it is, no matter how you dress. If you, if, if somebody, somebody used to tell me, man, yo, you're always wearing purple. You're always wearing colors. Like, that's weird. I'm like, nah, I wear whatever the fuck I want to wear. Like he said earlier, like, if gay people can fucking go outside and dress up like women, why the fuck you can't do whatever you want to do? I wear a Batman costume, run yeah. around. Fuck that. Yeah. So what? <laughs> Smash that like button in front of anybody. You know? Guys, be you, man, to your full potential. My guy asked what pain Broly got. What pain? What pain? Yo, good question, Julian. Uh, I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example, guys. Let's get deep, because we're already deep, right? I'll give you an example of pain. I'll give you an example of pain. Um, I won't talk about my family because that pain, they be watching and getting mad at me. You feel me? <laughs> Brody got, yeah, Brody got Scorpio pain. I'll tell you about the first time I thought I fell in love and dealt with pain. Back in, um, I told Bam Bam this story a couple of days ago. Bam Bam didn't notice either. When I was 19 years old, guys, I was 19 years old and, um, I was lost, super lost and, let me tell you how lost I was. Not only was I mentally lost, but when you're mentally lost, you're physically lost and you're spiritually lost. You know what I mean? So because I was lost, I, I was fucking up in school at that time. Because I was lost, I was on the run from the police at that time. Because I was lost, 
my, my, my mother and I didn't have a bond or a relationship for us to be able to, to, to be open with each other at that time. You know what I mean? And I told you, everything was going down for me. So I was dating this girl. I couldn't have my, I didn't have my mother. I didn't have my friends. A whole bunch of shit was fucked up at that time, right? So I was dating this girl who I thought I was in love with. And I was doing a lot for her. So one of the, one, one of the things, because I was on the run, I lived in, I was on the run from the police guys. So I was living in uh, Bronx. I was living in the Bronx at this time. And I remember coming down to try to give her some money. Why? Because she told me that she was pregnant. She told me she was pregnant for me. And this was around January. So I came into the New Year's thinking that I'm having a baby. I'm having a new baby. I'm 19 years old. I am already got, you heard what I said, right? I'm fucking up in school. I'm on the run from the police. Me and my mom not talking. I'm not, I can't even live in her crib, right? I can't even go to my mom's crib. And now I have a baby on the way. You know what I mean? So my head was, I didn't know what, I didn't know what direction to go. I didn't know what to do to better myself. All I know was I needed to make money. You know what I mean? And not only did I need to make money, I need to provide for my child. You know what I mean? So I remember a Sunday, I came down on a Sunday to come visit my girl. Um, unfortunately, I live far. Came to go visit her on a Sunday. And um, when I came to visit her, she wasn't home. It was Sunday morning, 10 o'clock in the morning, she wasn't home. Her pattern normally was for her waking up late. So being the fact that she wasn't home 10 o'clock in the morning, I was a little skeptical. I was like, What's, what the hell? Her mom said she's not there. She should be coming back soon. Guys, no, you, I know about, I know about you guys, I don't know about you, but when you young, you dumb. You be mad blue pill, feel me? I was blue pill as shit. So I waited for her at least two hours. Two hours. I stayed by her crib and make sure that if she come through, I got her some breakfast, I got some food, make sure she good, cause she got my baby, guys. You know what I mean? So I waited two hours, three hours, and guess what? She ain't never come through. She ain't never come through after three hours. And at that time, guys, I didn't have no cell phone. So I'm on a pay phone just trying to hope that, you know what I mean, if I hang up quickly, it's going to give me my quarterback so I can continue to call her because I can't get her. And I came all the way from the Bronx to make sure she good. Right? Right? <laughs> guys, after three hours, four hours of waiting, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go home, son, because I'm feeling so, so enraged, but I can't be mad at anyone else because I'm the one who decided to stay. So let me go home. I go home, and I don't know about you guys, I paid attention to what my girl do. I'm not the one to check her phone, or I'm not the one to, you know, try to snoop too much, but one thing I definitely remembered, I remembered a number that kept on texting her for like a month or a week, like every day and she was texting her, texting her. And the number was so easy, like four, five, two, five thousand or some shit like that. So I went home, I went to my mom's house, even though I'm on a run, I went to my mom's house and I, I called her phone mad times, but something in my spirit, the universe was giving me some type of energy, something in my spirit was telling me, call that number that you always think about, like, that just pops up all the time. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, why the fuck would I call that number for? It makes no sense, you know what I mean? But something's telling me to call it. And for me, my mother, one of, my, one of the biggest things my mother told me when I was on the run, she's like, yo, listen, I know you're on the run right now, we're going through mad shit, but one of the biggest things that you need to do is move with intuition. Move with how you feel. If you feel like you don't want to be somewhere, leave. If you feel like you want to stay, stay. Don't fight that. Make sure you be in tune with yourself and in your body. And, 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 and if yourself tell you to leave, leave. Feel me? So I was very in tune with myself at that time. So I'm in my crib. I call, I call, I call instant animal mode. Big facts. I call one of my friends because I'm enraged. I call one of my friends and he like, yo, bro, come to my crib. You know what I mean? Come to my crib before you wild out. Blah, blah, blah. Before I go to his crib... I'm like, you know, let me just call this number in my head because it's making me go crazy. I call the number, right? When I call the number, somebody picked up, but they didn't say hello. So I'm listening. I'm like, hello, hello. I'm listening. My girlfriend answers the phone. I'm like, what? She like, oh. you heard her say, oh. hangs up the fucking phone. I recall the phone a thousand times after that. 
that. Ring, 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 ring. After like 20 minutes, the dude answers the phone. I'm like, yo, bro, yo, bro, what's up, son? He like, I'm like, yo, bro, I'm calling you a thousand times while you're not answering. He like, yo, bro, I don't know who this is. I'm like, yo, bro, real talk. I am this person. We should sit down and talk because you're with my girl. And for real, for real, she told me that she's having my baby, son. Feel me? So be, let me know, son. You know what the guy says to me? The guy says to me, he was like, yo, bro, we can link up in like two weeks and talk. I'm like, two weeks? What the fuck? He like, yeah, bro, but real talk, she told me that I'm the baby father. I'm like, what? You the baby father, I'm the baby father. Bro, we gotta, we gotta meet up and talk right now, bro. We gotta figure this out, son. He like, nah, we can meet in two weeks. I hung up the phone. I hung up the phone. I went to his block. I ain't gonna front. I went to his block, guys. I went to his block. I knew what block he lived on because he lived two blocks from her. I just didn't know what house he lived in. Feel me? I didn't know what house he lived in. So I saw a woman in front of a building, she says. I walked up to her because she looked just like him. She looked just like him. I walked up to her. She says that apparently, you know what I mean, she was his mother. And I told her, I made up a lie and said that, you know what I mean, the, the girl upstairs with her son, and I mean, I'm, I'm her cousin, her mother sent me to come through. Long story short, long story short, because this story could go on for days, I'm telling you, this shit is crazy. Long story short, um, 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 it turns out that she was telling him he was the baby father, she was telling me I was the baby father, you feel me? So, him and I actually had a talk that night, we was able to talk, and he told me, confirmed that he thought that he was the baby father, you feel me? Going forward, I went met up with her mother. We all talked. Long story short, after that, I turned myself in. I had to turn myself in because mentally, I just broke. You know what I mean? So I had to turn myself in for the betterment of everybody, myself, everything. So I turned myself in and then I just worked on myself after that. And I definitely, uh, when I came back out of um, jail or whatever, um, Cause I was only I was only there for not long, not not too long. I was only there for maybe like a week or two. Um, when I came back out, she had an abortion. She decided to have an abortion. So once she decided to have an abortion, I left her like a, I left her like motherfucking you dropping hot potatoes, man. I fuck that. Bye. You gone. Now, I will never go back and be in that situation again. You feel me? So talk about pain. I know about pain, man. Just cause I'm thirty doesn't mean I don't know about pain. That's just a little spliff. That's just a that's just a little blink. Feel me? And that's why he's so... Oh, yo, and that's, yo, somebody asks, who's the father? We never know. We will never know. We will never know who was the father because she killed the baby, bro. And that's just realness. That's just realness, man. You feel me? No matter what. No matter what. Yo, that's just realness. You feel me? Yep. I'm in our code, man. So, Sad to say. <laughs> at the end of the day, I can't sit there and, and just sit on that and, and dawn on that and just smoke and... I gotta make myself better, you know what I mean? I gotta grow, I gotta do better. So after that, I made sure I was in any situation with any girl, I let them know, listen, if you having an abortion, you don't wanna be with me. You feel me? Because I, I, if you're gonna have my baby, I want my baby. I want my baby. You know what I mean? Yo. Yep, married. <laughs> Y'all see that, man. Y'all see that experience. And I, I, I just currently went through an experience too, man. And that's because I was... Honestly, that's because I was hanging out with Broly, man. Like, a girl would act funny. And Broly would be able to tell right away, like, yo. She's moving funny, bro. Check her phone, man. It's like that that experience that he went through, I've never went through any experience like that. But all the experiences that he he's went through just helps me out with my relationships, which is which is dope, man. Which is really dope, man. Experiences is the key. Especially if you're trying to become more red pill. Experiences is the key, man. And that was some that right there is some fucking deep shit, man. Some fucking Yo, guys, don't have sex with no girl that you won't possibly uh, 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 see yourself having kids with. Yes. All right? Don't have sex with no girl that you won't possibly see yourself having a family with, man. Yes. You feel me? You're yes. blue-pilling it. Yeah. You're blue-pilling it if you just busting the cheeks just for some pussy. You know what I'm saying? There's mad pussy out there, man. Yeah. There's mad pussy out there, bro. Especially the older you get. The older you get, you know what I mean? You want to make sure that... 
the, any pussy you get is of value, man. Yes. It's of value and it's equal to your value. Yeah. Like come if on, you, if you just if you just fucking a girl to have to, any girl, to, to a manga, even even if a it's Pokemon, a, even if it's a bad on. chick, even if it's a bad chick, you're just doing it for doing if it. You're just doing it for pleasure. There's no type of you don't see yourself. You don't see you got you don't see you don't see her um her supporting you and what you do or helping you level up. You're wasting your time. Cause it's all about the time, guys. It's literally all about the time. Yeah, you're gonna get a good nut. You're gonna have some great sex, whatever. But after that, what happens, guys? What happens? She's not supporting you. She's not helping you become a better man, a better person at your business or whatever it is. <laughs> and same thing with her. Dude on the left is high. <laughs> I'm, I'm high. You say he's high or me? Which one? <laughs> Bam, Bam never smoked. I used to smoke. I'm smash that like button, man. man. Yo, smash, smash that subscribe like button, button, man. Yo, you feel me? We had we had 148 people, 204 likes. Yo, That's guys. what I like to hear, man. That's what I like to see more likes than more likes than views. She she shouldn't be having unprotected sex if she can't handle responsibility. That's true. That's true. Or maybe she shouldn't be having sex at all. No, you can't blame everything on the woman, though, bro. Yeah. Because both of y'all to come together to have sex. That's a fact, man. You feel me? So That's a fact. you both are wrong. You both are not. You know what I mean? You feel me? Both shouldn't be having unprotected sex. Exactly, Kiara. You both shouldn't be. You know what I mean? You can't put all the blame on the woman, man. We do that too much. We as men do that too much, man, where we, 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 we fault the woman too much, guys. We fault the woman too much. Yo, bro, those pictures waiting for you. I got you, bro. Okay. I'm gonna look at it right now. Show it to the to we're gonna show you your your your, your abortion results. is murder. Yes, it is, man. It is. It definitely is. And that's part of the matrix too, man. That is part of the matrix. To me, a fuck. Hey. Let's see. I see there. you. I see you, Jordan. Show, show I see you, Jordan R B. Hold on, hold on. My guy showing his gains, man. Look at my guy showing his gains. I see you, Jordan R.B. So, Jordan, you said you can't turn fat into muscles. So, how the hell you got abs, bro? How you got abs, Jordan? Yo, um, yo, Milutin, Milutin, Milutin. Yo, bro, everybody deals with different things. Everybody want different things. You know what I mean? Your girl may not want babies, bro. You, what about you? Do you, you want babies? You just telling me what your girl feels like, bro. Perfect. You haven't been saying anything about what you feel like. You said you your girl had an abortion two months ago. You stayed with her. You said that your girl don't want babies. What about you, bro? I want babies, bro. I'm on this earth to be fruitful and multiply, bro. Feel me? I want babies, bro. I need to... You heard what I said, right? I, I'm sitting on $2.5 million, bro. What the fuck am I supposed to do with that when I'm dead? What am I supposed to do with that? I got to pass that down to my babies, bro. Create a dynasty, bro. You feel me? Create a dynasty, bro. That's why we need it. Bro, come on, son. You're getting me tight right now. Don't get me tight. Yo. You want to build, bro. We want to build. The system. You want to create. You want to be a part of history? Create a dynasty, boy. The system. You need kids, boy. Alters what we're supposed to do. Come on. Men. When you come out the when you come out the vagina, right? Exactly. Duty, Hold on. Your duty. You want the babies, look, yo, bro. You want the babies that she aborted it. Leave her. Yep. Leave her. That means she don't want you as a father, man. She don't want you as the father of her kids. Leave her, bro. You want her in a different way that she want you. Y'all are not on the same time and level, man. Y'all don't see each other like this. Y'all just fucking. That's it's all physical. Come Remember. on. When you come out of the vagina, come on, bro. your duty is to survive, give off offsprings, and make sure those offsprings survive too. That is your duty. And protect too. Of course, you gotta protect and Wait a minute. Them. Wait a minute. Yeah. And if she's not, if she's not with that. Militant, militant. You 20, bro? The matrix, bro. Yo, militant, you 20, bro? Yo, militant, you 20, bro? If you 20, bro, you don't need to worry about kids right now, bro. You say he's 20? If you 20 militant. You don't need more about no kids, bro. Bro. Live your of life. Of course bro. she having abortions, bro. Of course she having abortions. She don't want no kids yet. Militant, stop busting nuts in her. Go to the doctor and get birth control, guys. Go get some birth control. You're going to be busting nuts all up in her, bro. So she don't have to deal with all that stress of, of, of 
Get an abortion, son. That's a lot of problems, son. That's you blue pilling that situation, bro. You right. blue pilling, son. Stop. Stop Don't do that, bro. son. You putting her through stress. You putting yourself through stress. And guess what? You're fucking up her body, bro. You're not fucking up your body, son. What's gonna happen when she's 38 years old and she decided to want to get kids, bro? You feel me? Don't do that to her, son. You love her. If you really love her, treat her better, son. Treat her better, bro. Yeah, I have a kid. Hell yeah, I got a kid. I thought this was about food. I, I mean, we do, we do talk about food. And we talk about everything. We talk about everything, man. It's been an hour already. We talk about everything, man. That's why we got 211 likes. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Take it into consideration, bro. Plan B is less expensive. Than a child. Yeah, plan B is lit. Plan B is lit, you heard? Some abortions involve yanking out the kid. That looks like cold hangers. Damn. Listen, man. Like I said, don't, put, don't ever put yourself in a situation that you can't handle, you know? Like, if you're having sex with a girl... You should not be having sex with a girl that you don't see yourself having kids with. Yeah. Or building with. Period. Big facts. You know? Like, whoever you're dealing with, it could be... I'm dealing with him as a friend. He's helping me grow. I'm helping him grow. We're helping each other. Same thing with a girl. You should be helping her. She should be helping you. You guys should be using each Supporting other. Supporting each other, yeah. If it's just for sex, that's like me just meeting up with him just for... For, to, to go to the bar every time. Like, the only time we meet up is when we go into the bar. We don't talk about aspirations or, like, fucking making money, helping our family. It wouldn't make any sense, guys. Like, every person you're dealing with should help you evolve as a person. And you should also be helping them evolve. You can't help anybody evolve if they're not helping you. And if you're not helping yourself. So... Put yourself first, guys. Always put yourself first in any situation. Use, don't abuse. Yep. Use. We use each other. We don't abuse each yeah, other, we man. We don't abuse each other, man. You feel me? Hey, man. Shout out to all the females out there. Word. Big facts. We, we gotta respect that. Yo, love, love. Yo, listen. Listen, yo, guys. They got the power, yo, guys. man. Fuck Girls fuck. have power. Y'all don't realize it? They have power. We you love see? them. Yeah. We in love with all women, guys. Do you not realize it? Come on. Y'all got to realize y'all love women, son. Why do you get out of one relationship, you still try to go get another one, son? It's not like you stop and be like, you know what? Let me go try a whole different sex or some shit like that. No matter what, you go for the woman, son. That means you love women, bro. You in love with women. So treat women right. You feel me? Treat them with love, son. What you think will happen to you? You're going to get that same shit reciprocated, son. You feel me? That same shit going to be reciprocated, man. Treat everything with love, man, honestly. Do you think we're going through a mass spiritual awakening on earth right now? Yes. Hell yeah, bro. Yes. Hell yeah. Yes. Hell yeah. Listen, man, I don't think there's a better year than 2020, man, honestly. For me, it just opened my eyes to a lot of shit. I'm talking about friends, relationship. I'm getting to, I got to meet freaking brawling. Shredder, sh Shredder is red pill. <laughs> yeah, man. Shout out to Shredder. Man. Spiritual world, man. And it's all about knowing yourself. You know, knowing, okay, I, I, we do live in the spiritual world, and where am I in the spiritual world? You know? How can I level up? Big facts. And how can I help my friends and family level up? Big facts. You know? What can you do? Because, you know, people keep worrying about... People are worried, Donald Trump got impeached. Donald Trump got impeached. Donald Trump is not going to help you pay your bills, bro. Donald Trump is not going to help you feed your kid. Joe Biden isn't either. Joe Biden isn't either. Guys, all of this stuff is in a, like, it's not, I wouldn't say an illusion, but it's a distraction, guys. We are always worried about the wrong things. And we get distracted and we forget. We forget that we got a whole family to feed. feed. We forget that we got to put food in our mouth, man. Yep. It's all a distraction. These things are not going to put more money in your pocket, guys. It's not. It's not going to help you live a healthier lifestyle. You're not going to feel healthy if, if freaking um, Donald Trump was president or Joe Biden was president. 
You're not going to feel healthier. You're not going to be healthier. You need to be healthy. You need to have enough money to feed your kid, your family, yourself, put food in your mouth. You need to survive. You need to survive. Yeah, and don't listen to social media, son. Yeah. Stop listening to the news. Mad people's all in the news. Yo, I ain't gonna front. I was watching the news. I was watching the news uh, two days ago. And be, don't be ignorant. You know what I mean? Unplug from the matrix, just like what my guy said. All day. I ain't gonna front. I was never a big Trump supporter, guys. I was never a big Trump supporter. But um, all day, the news was just talking so much shit about him. And the way that everything is adding up, it don't even make any sense at all what they're doing to the guy. So I'm just so, I'm just learning mad new things. And I'm like, sheesh, what the fuck? Doesn't, it, it, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't even make any sense. Why, like, for example, they impeached him eight days or seven days. The guy got one more week to be in the office. And now everything going to happen and now you get impeached. I think that, you feel me, there's a lot deeper shit going on and we don't know about it. You yeah. know what I mean? So don't be so in tune with and be scared. You feel me? Just be prepared. Yep. Be prepared. <laughs> that Lion King song, you feel me? I'm not, Let's I'm go. not like a Trump supporter or anything, but we all know about the, the freaking... Yo, the way that the, they did that to Trump... I ain't gonna front. That shit don't look real. Yeah. That shit don't look real. And from what I'm hearing, that the way that that happened, and I'm I don't I never even liked Trump, son. And I was like, nah, I, I'm no fool. I'm no fool. Yeah. I'm no fool. I see them lying. I see, you know what I mean? Like for, they're like, oh Trump, da, 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 da. and then you see the police letting those people in the building. The police was letting those people in the building. You feel me? Exactly, because he's been expose them, expose the government. And listen, big facts. All, listen, there was w way worse presidents than freaking Trump, man. Let's keep. Yo, up. apparently Obama, Obama, you know what I mean? Got hands in on kids and, and yeah. human trafficking. Fuck what? Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton. All of these people. These all, are things that I'm learning. Yeah. And Trump got them in court. Trump got those guys in court. Believe it or not. Trump got Obama, yep, Hillary that. Clinton, all these guys in court for human trafficking. Obama, you can say, yo, exactly, Obama, what? Joe, you know what I'm saying? Listen, man. Pizza Gate, Pizza Gate, y'all know it, y'all know it. Listen, man, and the only reason that's why they took they took her laptop, and y'all hear what they talking about with the laptop? Her brother, her brother, you know what I mean? He a pedophilia, you know what I mean? A lot of guys, a lot of the times, they 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 frame them with the camera, and make sure that they you know, do these crazy things, and a lot of that shit is on her, on her computer apparently. Yo, and that's what I'm saying, guys. I don't know. Antifa, the news, the news, there's a whole bunch of Antifa people at that pro, at that protest. And guess what? The news don't show this though. The cats in Hollywood, hell, you be lying. The news don't show this, but the news is showing us. He's getting impeached. Oh, um, um, Kanye West and 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 um, Kim Kardashian is getting a divorce. Blah blah. blah. People are paying attention to, to the worst world. things right now. Things that's not gonna help you. Word. Like, we need to save our kids. We need to make sure that our kids don't get into that fucking human trafficking. People are literally losing their kids, bro. So guys, we need to pay attention to what we really need to pay attention to, man. Unplug out of the matrix, guys. For real. Hey, yo, if you want to unplug out the matrix, it's very deep. Feel me? First of all, stop celebrating Christmas. Stop celebrating all these main media holidays, okay? You want to celebrate your... Make your own fucking holiday, man. Why don't you make your own holiday? You feel me? What do you think about mandatory vaccine? What if they try to do that? How would you... Yo, Khalil, they're going to, bro. It was always safe to assume the worst. If you assume the worst, you'd be prepared for it, bro. Yes. You feel me? Of course. They gonna have that, bro. Like I said, we don't you don't need it. Don't take don't, it. Yeah, don't take it. We we try to figure out how we can maneuver the matrix. Around it. Yeah, we're gonna figure out how we can maneuver yeah, around it. That's, that's it. all. How are we not gonna take it? Don't work against the matrix, just work with yeah. the matrix to move up. Cause that's yeah. what these people are doing. That's so all we you gotta, gotta learn. Do. We gotta learn to do it too. Yeah. You feel me? That's all. Maneuver. We're not gonna try to go against the matrix. Nah, that's we ain't fighting the system. Don't fight the system. We're gonna work the, with the system yeah. to go up. Yeah, I just yo, I'm giving you all your free vaccines right now, guys. You getting your vaccine? You Super got your vaccine? You Super got your vaccine tonight? Super Saiyan challenge. That's a vaccine, guys. You need to work out. These are times <laughs> that you need to work out, guys.
You really need to work out and, and put in some pain through the body. You need to learn how to fight not so you can defend yourself. You, yo, you don't know what's going to happen, man. You don't know what's going to happen, man. Mass shit about to go down, too. You, you want to protect your... Yo, you know Trump going to do something before Biden go up in there? Come on. Like, if you know, if you guys know Trump, he knows going to do something. He's going to say something, something. He might, hopefully, he release all that shit. Hmm. I want to see all the shit. Broly and Bam, if you guys really want to... Escape the Matrix. Look up Gamma Tra Effect News. Yo, oh, I'm, gonna go, I'm, I'm making a, a note of it right now. Hell yeah, man. Yo, guys, we're in tune. We, we want to learn. So if you guys have people... Always in tune and learning, man. That's all I we... watch. I watch Infinite Waters. I'm always I, looking up shit to learn. Um, We watch um freaking... What's his name? Young Pharaoh. Yo, shout out to Young Pharaoh. Shout out to Infinite Waters, man. Those are people that I watch um, to, you know, get more knowledge about... Stuff that we don't get. Gematria effect. All right. Eating plants, eating plant based, and working out is the vaccine. Yep, that's a fact, man. Hmm. Interesting. By interesting. Goal, up. That's a fact, Kara. Yeah, gold is one of the best things to invest in. Yeah. And also invest in Tesla, guys. Yes. Tesla has gone up a lot. In the past two to three years, like I said, investing in stocks is an, is another way you to you could manipulate the freaking system. You're making money without doing anything, you know. Instead of you having to wake up and and just freaking work every day, and then you have the money is just accumulating. The money's working for you. You're not working for money. Money's working for you. And crypto, yeah. Ooh, shouts to Kiara, man. Let me know about that crypto. The ground is going to open up and swallow the evil. Yup, no cap. That's what 2020 kind of showed, you know. Shout to Tupac, man. <laughs> Pop out, man. Don't be making me. Do you guys get more haters since working out? Of course, man. Of course we get haters when we work out, bro. Yo, my neighbors just text me. My neighbors just text me. The count, they're like, yo, one, two, three. They can hear us counting. And they say, ha, 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 You feel me? That's just, that's just, that's just fucking hilarious. Anyway. <laughs> I repeat the neighbor. I'm dead, man. If everyone thought like that, you wouldn't have stocks to invest, bro. That's true, man. If everybody thought like what? If everybody was like, yo, um, I'm going to invest in stocks, um, they wouldn't have stocks to invest in. That's true. That's true. Like, not everybody is going to be um, like red pill when it comes to the matrix. Especially, a lot of people are actually going to be on the blue pill side, which is okay. You know, that, that, just, that just helps the people that swallow the red pill, you know, to, to, to go harder. But honestly... It's okay. Like I said, it's okay. Um, if people don't want to invest in stocks, people are scared. They would just rather work a, a freaking... They just rather work till they die, or whatever, a nine to five, or whatever it is. People, people don't want to be happy. It, it's okay, guys. It's okay. Like We have to accept people for who they are and what they feel comfortable with. Some people are comfortable with the matrix. And that's Yo. okay. I take 2K from markets every day. Wh whoever that is, inbox us on Instagram. Add us right now. I want to I show me. Show me. I want to see it. Show me how to do that. <laughs> I want to see it to believe it. You heard? I can show you my building, 2.5 million. You heard? Let me see. You show me that. <laughs> donate some of that 2K facts. Nah, don't, no, don't donate. No. Nah. Yo, but that's blue pill. Yeah, that's blue pill. That's blue pill. You don't want him to donate. You want to learn how to do that so that you can get your own 2K every fucking week, every day, every couple of days. Feel me? Why, why get given one 2K when you can learn how to make 2K every time? Come on, man. Somebody asks, what if you have your own business and have other investing on you? That's cool. That's good. That's still we, good. We do that too. Yeah. That's the best thing to do. That's how you start off. Actually, you don't even want to start off investing in stocks. You want to build a business 
and make sure that business is making you so much income that you start investing in, in um, stocks right after. You DM me? All right, let's see right now. I don't know. I, I, yeah, man. Yo, Windhoff Method is good. I'm actually going to try that one time, but um, Windhoff Method is actually good. And it's good to meditate, period. It's good to meditate, period, man. Yeah, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. You guys have any questions, man? What's up? Yo, Lewis. That's you, right? I just added you, bro. We're going to talk, man. We're going to talk. And I see. Thank you for sending that picture. I see you, bro. I see you. Feel me? Thank you for, thank you for supporting and thank you for tagging along the challenge, man. You definitely going to change your body up. Are we into some video games? Nah, man. We don't have time for that. You're not? Um, I play video games. I play video games, but it's just been a while. Do you guys get more attention from girls since working out? Yes. Yeah, definitely. When we take off our shirts, women re respond in the, in the best ways. Yes. Because they're not used to seeing things like that. Yes. And like I told you earlier, most man, the most average men don't have packs. Yeah. He was showing the the you know the 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 shoes, the Louis Vuittons. That's good. That's perfect, man. Cause he no homo. He got a nice body already, and he dressing good. Can't beat that. But guess what? Let's say he doesn't have that. He's still going to be able to get the girls. Like, I could pop up to a fucking spot. All these dudes are fresh and whatever, wearing most expensive clothes. And like I said, I'll probably just wear a tank top or even a, a Vita and some shorts. And I'm pretty sure that I'll do better than the guy that spent so much money on his clothes, man. A lot of times, it's not really about your clothes. It's all about your confidence. Yeah, your confidence. Believe it or not, guys. Be, be yourself. Be who you are. Don't fake who you are. Don't try to be someone else. And don't try to create a facade. You know what I mean? A lot of guys talk about G and all this extra shit. You don't, you don't need to lie to these women, man. It's better that you tell them the truth so that if they, you know that they, you know what I mean, good for you or not. So, hey, yeah, get the fuck out of here from now. You know what I'm saying? Rather than we being together and now after three, four years, I want to kill you. Like, that makes no sense. Yeah. It makes no sense. And just working on you, guys. Working on you to, to the fullest. Work on your body. Work on your mindset. Work on everything. And you will attract whatever you want. You know, whatever you want, whatever type of girl you want, or even friendship, whatever type of friends you want around you, you will attract that by working on yourself to the fullest. Do you believe we are children of Israel? Hmm. Bam Bam for president, Broly for vice. <laughs> Believe it or not, I would never want to be a president of this country, man. I'd rather be a president of my own country, Nigeria. That's another thing. I I I I understand. Like this is this is the this is a country for opportunity, but you know my goal is to to is to really you know fix where I'm from. You know, go back to where I was. I'm originally from, and and fix that. Big facts. You know? Big facts. I don't know how, like, a lot of people, like, where are you really from? The accident. And, and go back there and try to fix that. I don't know how people try to invest in this, invest their energy into fixing this country. Not, like I said, this is the country of opportunity. Like I said, we're trying to maneuver and we're trying to manipulate the matrix. You know, you come here, you make that money, you, you, whatever opportunity is given to you, 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 you use it and you go back to where you're originally from and help that country. That's it. Because we're trying to help our people, man. Yeah, our man. people. Our people, man. Where are you from? People, yeah. are people are dying over blocks, man. Yeah. Why are you dying over blocks? Is that where you're from? You should die for your freaking country, man. People are yeah. dying for this country. Is that where you're really from? Yeah. Die for your, for your own country, man. Big fact. For your own country, for, for your what, ancestors, what, yeah, man. For your ancestors, for your where are you, family. Where are you really from, bro? Yeah. Don't just die because people ask you to, to yeah. fight for them. So you must die for them. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's a part of finding out who you are. So you definitely, you definitely want to fight for your peoples, fight for yourself. 
more than you fight for anyone else, yes. man. That's you feel me? Fact. Someone else tell you when they, they want you to fight for them and kill yourself for them? Yo, tell them. Yo, suck my dick. <laughs> hold your power. Hold your truth. Yo, Don't let nobody control who you are, man. It's all about the knowledge, man. You feel all me? about the knowledge, man. Protect, protect your own peoples. You know, help your peoples grow. Like, I met him. I'm like, yo, start a channel. This and that. Yo, my... We are from the same... Yep. We are from... No matter what, Jamaica... Like, we are from the same place, man. We're from... We're all from Africa. Yep. And I'm, I'm helping him. That's if it. If you got brown in your skin like this, guys, you have some type of melanin from yeah. you and your peoples came from Africa. Yeah. We um, brothers, man. Somebody asked, would I take the va vaccine if I need to travel? So, as we were saying before, we're going to try to, because that's, that's why I'm not traveling right now, because I want to see what's going to happen. I'm paying attention to the politics, and I'm seeing what's going to happen around the world, because I don't want to be stranded somewhere. So, I want to make sure that I can work around this vaccination and mandatory uh, vaccination, so that I don't have to get the vaccination. And I, I don't want to say how I'm going to work around it right now, because I don't know yet, but... I plan on it, you know what I mean? Working with the Matrix so that I don't have to get the vaccination. And you know what I mean? If I got to fake it to make it, then hopefully, hey, 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 hey! How you doing? <laughs> going to maneuver the Matrix. That's right? it, man. That's but it. I'm not taking no vaccination. I got, I got the vaccination. I don't, think I, I don't think I can even get COVID. I ain't going to front. I could probably spread COVID, but I don't think I could get sick from COVID. Maneuver. Maneuver, man. Maneuver, manipulate. Feel me? Like once when, when the pandemic hit, you know, we got laid off our jobs. I got laid off my job automatically. Like they didn't even want me to come back. And guess what? I could have been like, damn man, shit, I'm gonna need this job. I, I could have been going there, going back there, trying to get the job back, something. Nah. I've tried to figure out how I can still survive. And that's how you can survive in the matrix, guys. You gotta keep manipulating it. You just gotta keep it. Yo, clean. how they say there's a new strain of COVID and shit, and yet this shit's stronger and shit, right? This shit's stronger and shit. We didn't even go through the worst part of fucking winter yet, which is super cold. March, April, that's when we had the most deaths of fucking COVID. You know what I mean? So, co guys, COVID is real. COVID yes. is not fake. COVID is definitely real. But it, you know it is man made. It's, it's not man a natural made. disease. It's man made. It's man made. And after me even learning that this is man-made, all those other disease, flu, whatever it's called, Spanish flu, those could have been man-made too, guys. Man, all them shits are off man-made. Influenza, feel me? All, every, all of these shits is man-made. First of all, it's COVID-19. What the fuck happened to 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1? What the shit? What, what happened to all those? We went, ain't nobody asking that. Why nobody asking where's COVID-1 at? With COVID-2. This is a strand 19. COVID-19. That means that there's a 20. That means there's a 21. That doesn't mean that it stopped that 19. That means that this is the one that's the special one that we need. You know what I mean? You go in the supermarket, you get the special cheese that you need. There's mad cheese in the supermarket. They got Kraft. They got all these different cheese. But... That COVID-19 is the one that we need to spread that world catastrophe, man. Listen, man. I can't say if they spread it in the sky. I can't say none of that. I know that COVID is real. My, mom, my mother had it. My mother had COVID. Feel me? When my mom had COVID, she was sick for at least 21 days straight. She couldn't breathe. She couldn't talk. She couldn't... I asked if she's okay. She couldn't even respond. She was so weak, she couldn't pick up a spoon or a fork and feed herself. I had to help feed her. I had to help wash her. I had to help change her clothes. I had to help her walk. I had to help her do everything. So I know COVID is real. I know that. But this is the crazy part. Why the fuck I ain't get sick? Yeah, she was that weak, yo. My mother couldn't even talk. She couldn't even respond. She would tell you right now, she don't even, she can't, a part of it, she don't even remember. She don't remember three weeks in her life. She don't even remember it. She was telling me to, she was signing all the wills and shit, the 2.5 million. She was like, here you go. I was like, hell no. Hell 
No. How long took her to, to recover? Took her three weeks under my surveillance and under my training, motherfucker. You feel me? I wasn't going to let that shit go. Hell to the no, no, no. Every morning when she woke up, she was hungry, right? I'm like, yo, mommy, you got to eat. You sick right now. She's like, I'm not hungry. I don't want to eat. I'm like, come on, you got to come eat breakfast. And then when she come, she, she, she wanted, she wanted, she's like, okay, I'm going to eat. Bring the food to me in my bed. I said, guess what? Hell no. You want to get better? Get up. Let's go. Get up. I made sure she got up to eat breakfast. I made sure she got up to eat at lunch. I made sure she got up to eat dinner. I don't give a fuck how weak and tired you are. I'm right here with you. I'm going to be with you. You feel me? We walking together. You ain't going to fall. You need to eat, I'll feed you. But don't worry. You need to breathe. Let's go. Before you go eat, go sit in that bathroom. Let me motherfucking turn on the hot water and, and put some motherfucking citrus in this shit so you, all you smell is some fucking... Acid, citrusy, motherfucking bathroom in the sauna type shit, breathing all that shit in the air, burning the shit out your motherfucking lungs. I, I had her working. Within three, four days, I'm tricking her. I'm like, come on, you gotta go walk up and down the stairs. She's like, no, no, no. Now she start responding. You feel me? I'm like, all right, cool. You don't gotta walk up and down the stairs. Walk in this room, walk in that room. Walk, walk, walk. You feel me? Anytime she wanna eat. Oh, I'm hungry now. I'm hungry. All right, you got you to gotta walk. You know what I'm saying? I made her work. I ain't going to front. I made her work. You know what I mean? And I slept next to her every single night. Every single night, I slept right next to her. And she was telling me, put on a mask. I'm like, put on a mask for what? I'm not putting on no mask. Because I caught her in the middle of the night trying to change her panties. And she couldn't even have the strength to change her own panties, man. Nope. I didn't get sick. I made sure my mom got better. I quarantined myself and all that for three weeks. I, I would make sure she good feed her, make sure she walk up and down and go, and work, go upstairs where we at right now and work out for 10 hours. And then I would diagnose myself and be like, I can't be sick because I just worked out for 10 hours. I could breathe. So after my mom got better, I went to the doctor. Self-care is the best care, right? I went to the doctor and I got the COVID test. You know what the doctor told me? Doctor shipped the shit all the way from my nose, all the way touching my brain. The doctor fucking took my blood and all that. And the doctor told me, you know what the doctor told me? I never had COVID, nor do I have COVID. So I asked the doctor, I told him about my experience, and I said, how come I didn't get sick? Why I didn't get sick? The doctor must said, oh, your immune system must be good. The doctor don't know what the fuck the doctor talking about. All right? The doctor don't know what the fuck they talk about. That's what I learned. So I not only learned how to cure my mom, and on top of that, I didn't give her none of that medication that the doctor prescribed. The doctor said, oh, take the pressure pill, take the water pill, take, fuck all those pills, ma. You're going to get some ginger tea. You're going to get some ginger tea right now. You're going to get this herbal, you're going to drink these orange tea right now. Everything natural. That's what's going to help you. And guess what? Strong. COVID ain't going nowhere. COVID is still here. So I'm prepared. I'm prepared for it in case my mom gets sick, in case my daughter gets sick. You feel me? We here. I got the vaccination. I don't need that shit. People's taking the vaccination and still getting sick. Why the fuck am I going to take a vaccination that is still, I can still get sick? Where the fuck is the medicine at then? Make no fucking sense, man. Fuck out of here, man. I get passionate yeah. about my mom. I'll beat them up. Right. <laughs> Vitamin, and listen, this is a system too. They tell you to stay quarantined, stay in the house. You need to go outside to get that natural sun, vitamin D from the sunlight, guys. Well, not, not everybody. Not everybody gets the vitamin D from the sunlight. Yeah, man. but, you know, us at least, we need to get that. Vitamin D works, but yeah. um, vitamin D works, but you can only get a certain amount of vitamin D um, when you're in a certain amount of atmosphere. Like, if you're in New York, it's not sunny all the damn time. Yeah, but you, you still, it's still, you're still better off getting it. Naturally, you know, it's still good to go outside. Like everything they do, like put a mask on, it's stopping you from breathing. All these rules that they do, it's, it doesn't help your immune system get stronger. You need to actually be human for your immune system to get stronger. You need to work out. You need to eat healthy. You need to eat your fruits. You need to make sure you can breathe. You need to. You need some fresh sunlight, guys. So 
like I said, it's, it's all a matrix and you have to know how to maneuver it. He was with his mom the whole time and he didn't get sick. Never. How come? Not one time. How, was, how come? He trains a lot. He eats healthy. We was at the park every freaking day during that cold COVID-19 stuff, man. And when we would go live and even make videos, we would be like, you guys are too close to each other. You guys are not wearing a mask. And we're like, are you sure it was COVID? Yeah, bro, it was COVID, bro. She couldn't breathe. She had all the symptoms for COVID. We called the doctor. We had her, feel me? We had the doctor fucking diagnose her. I didn't diagnose my mom with COVID. Her doctor did, bro. Her doctor said, don't come to me. Stay at home and quarantine. She has COVID. And then I asked the doctor, what should I do about all these pills and shit? Feel me? Dude, a few times a week. That's why they say COVID wasn't a thing until 2020. <laughs> the only mask I wear is, is during sex. Who said that? Who said that? Andre Limmer. Shout out to my guy Andre right there, man. That's a red pill guy right there. Salute. Feel me? Start spitting this shit. Salute. You wear your mask for your girl, bro. Feel me? Big facts. Red pill protein shake. Big facts, man. <laughs> Yo, real talk. <laughs> Yo, real talk. <laughs> it got me dying real quick. Yo, real talk, guys. I don't know about. I don't know if y'all know this, man. But I'll let you know. If you got a girlfriend, you got a girlfriend, you got a wife. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm going to show you how to be a romantic in a little freaky way. You know what I'm saying? Put your mask on, bro. Go get a mask. Go get a Batman mask. Black Panther mask. A robber a mask with the eyes and some shit like that. Go get a mask. Break into your own crib. I don't sound weird. Break into your own crib. You know what I mean? And then have sex with your girl. <laughs> Some handcuffs, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but make sure you got the mask on when you got the handcuffs. You know what I mean? Don't get shot in the process. Yo, you breaking into your own crib, bro. Why you gonna get shot? Who gonna shoot you? Who gonna shoot you? You feel me? You see the girls, what they say? They say LOL. You know what I'm saying? No play. You don't gotta believe me, bro. But the girls on here, on here on the live, I don't even know what they look like. It's saying, you know what I'm saying? LOL. You know what I'm saying? Bird tips. <laughs> they said bird tips, man. How to go bird? Yo, you, you gotta, see? You gotta, you yo, 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 guys. You don't see these guys. You don't see the girls on here saying no. I don't know none of them. I don't know none of these ladies personally, bro. I'm telling you right now from a red pill perspective. Feel me? Another girl saying that's role playing. I'm telling you truth. This is romance. You want to turn your shit up, put on a fucking mask, break into your crib, and give your girl the nah nah, boy. Give her that oomph. Feel me? I'm telling you, she going to marry you, bro. She, uh, yo, yo, bro, that you, your girlfriend don't want the babies yet? You do that? She going to want babies. She going to want some babies. You feel me? You feel me? Just letting y'all know. Yep, a, lot of y'all, a lot of y'all guys don't know. That's a girl fantasy. Why you think your girl wanna be tied up and shit, man? Batman babies. You know what I'm saying? Why you think she wanna be tied up? You see? Act, you heard what the shorty said. Act like you about to kidnap her and to splice it up. Don't tell her it's you. Don't tell her it's you. Body her shit, you know what I'm saying? Watch out, man, watch out. You body it, you wild this shit up. Ah, oh, bitch! You wild her. Stop calling her every name. Bitch, fuck out of here. Oh, where the money at? Fuck is the money at? Ah! And then when you finish and you bust her nut, you take off the mask. Yo, baby, that was lit. Baby, woo! You feel me? And then, oh, yo, you can either do this. Yo, you can either do this. I swear to God. Take off the mask and lay down and just chill. Or you could go the same way you broke into the crib. You broke into the crib through the window and shit. 
go back out the same way, and they come through the front door, and they go to they, they go relax. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Exactly, Kiara. Exactly. She'll go in this kitchen and make you a sandwich right after that. Red pill. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Feel me? Y'all don't know? Y'all better know. Y'all better learn. You're going to learn today. You're going to learn today. You're going to learn today. <sighs> Feel me? Y'all niggas ain't turning up. You got to turn up on your girl, man. You got to what? Nigga, what? <laughs> what? Red pill versus vaccine. <laughs> Oh, and some Kool-Aid. You see, the girls on the, on the live is all approving, guys. They are approving. I don't know them. The people on the live will let you know, nah, bro, your reps are short. The girls will let you know, nah, that's not cool. They are letting you know, man. Exactly. She's saying Kool-Aid. She's saying she's going to make you a sandwich and Kool-Aid, bro. A full course meal. A full course meal right after that. What if you finish in one minute? That'd be the best one minute of her life. I'm sorry though. You should practice semen retention and then you won't finish in one minute. <laughs> practice semen retention, bro. You won't finish in one minute, bro. You know what I'm saying? You need, we need to maximize yeah, the man. time that we, you know what I mean, it takes for us to come, man. You hold that nut, bro. Hold that nut, son. Big splash, man. Yeah, you heard what Kiara said, right? You heard what Kiara said, right? Let one off, bro. I tell these guys all that all the time, son. I tell you guys all that all the time. You know your dick is extra sensitive, son. You know you don't be getting no pussy, son. You know you haven't been touching yourself, bro. You know your shit's not right, bro. You know if you're into that girl, your shit's gonna just nut. You know that, bro. So, to prepare for that, wow! Right before you go see her, bro. Right before. Hell yeah. I'm, and I'm only talking about if you're mad sensitive. If you know your shit is sensitive. You know what I mean? Because you know, guys. You know. When you, when you haven't touched. You haven't been touched. You know what's going to happen, man. It'd be two, three, four minutes. That shit good? Nigga, please. You know what I'm saying? But if you want to maximize the kill, you want to maximize the kill, guy? You want to maximize the body? Bow! Rub one off, man. Rub it off. But it's best to learn how to, to, to learn how to do semen retention, you know. Cause that way, you know, you could go rounds after rounds. Cause if you're rubbing one off, that's one nut. But instead of rubbing it off, you could actually just give her like 30 minutes and See? then nut. And then you could have gave her another one. Listen, man, I love my bro, man. But that's when that's that blue shit right there. That blue that's that blue pill shit, shit that he be talking about, son. First of all. It's levels to the shit, guys. Mm -hmm. We all know, we all know that that second nut takes a little longer. Exactly. And now, now you got an extra 30 minutes to that little, that longer one, because you was able to do semen retention. So, understand that, bro. Uh -huh. That's why you need to rub that shit out. <laughs> nah. <laughs> That's, rubbing it out is still... It's, it's blue pill, bro. Listen, listen. Listen to me, bro. Listen real quick. The reason why I'm saying you got to rub out that first one, guys, you got to understand what I'm saying. If you're shit sensitive and you have not practiced semen retention or you have practiced semen retention, but you know what I mean? You're not so good at it. You rub that first one out, let that shit out. Boom. Now your penis is ready for that second nut. Whatever time that you be. You know what I mean? Me, I'm ready for that second nut. And I know that that shit going to take a little while. You know what I'm saying? So that's the real kill. You're going to kill for real. I'm telling you. That first nut, you just made her look at you like what's going on. Are you finished? Why you even got her thinking like that? You should, that's why it's blue pill. Nah, I'm, but I, what I'm saying is you should practice your semen retention so you <laughs> don't have to do that. Feel me? Yo, listen. Yo, listen, man. You don't gotta listen to me. You can listen to Bam Bam. Or you can listen to me. It is what it is. I'm just breaking it down for you because I'm telling you, son. So you do that all the time? Yes. Yes. I'm not going into some girl with the fucking, the fresh one into busting nut in two, three, four, five minutes. No. 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 Nope. And if so, right, I've learned how to release that first nut in a way where as you bust a nut, you don't release the full nut. You release, you release half of that first nut. 
See, I'm going to break it down for you now. You ever got a beat your meat? Because some guy, I don't like beating my meat. But if you're an amateur, beat your meat. But when you get to the system and you know how to do your shit, you can release half that nut. And then your body will still be able to continue. You feel me? You release half that nut, your penis won't be as sensitive. Then you can release that second, that half of the second nut, which is still the full nut. And then guess what? You still going, nigga. And that second nut ain't coming no time soon. Guess what's coming for her? Squirt. Because I don't know about y'all, but my job not done if she not squirting. I don't give a fuck if she comes. She better come. That's mandatory. But you know what else is mandatory? A squirt. You got her squirting, she gonna remember you for life. Facts. Life. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. But my goal, and every girl that I'm ever going into or I'm going into, will only and always be squirting. Nothing is given. That's a given. You got a nut. But you, if I don't make her squirt, I feel unaccomplished. I have failed. I have failed. My, I got, you got to pay your taxes. And if you tax it, she's squirting. Whoosh. Yeah, but you know how good that feeling is? She looking at you like you're a whole different guy. Don't listen to me. Talk, man. Let them know. Let them know about the skirt game, son. Let them know. Let them know, bro. Oh, man. Let them know. I mean, I've had very weird experiences with squirting, man. I've had a girl squirt by just sucking me off. You know? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've had, I've had weird experiences, bro. That's all I can see. <laughs> yeah. Yo, listen, man. Listen, man. Yo. How you make her feel is how you make her feel, man. You ain't making her feel like that. She's sucking your dick, bro. Bro, so how do I make her feel then? She's fucking off of... You know, that's how much work I have to put in. Yo, Kiara. Kiara, all the ladies on here. Let him know. Ain't no girl squirting from sucking dick. If that was the case... There'd be a lot of happy women out here, man, just willy-nilly sucking some dick. I ain't gonna front. And, uh... I'm just telling you let my me know. experience, bro. I, I understand I understand that. I'm telling you my she, experience. But, but they're acts. They, look, these women, I'm, just, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying it. I'm asking and they're saying it. One, one girl said, are you sure, Bam? Look, 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 look. One girl said, are you sure, Bam, that she didn't pee? <laughs> That's <laughs> what it... They've been saying that since you said that. No, no, bro. Are you sure she didn't just pee on yourself, bro? Nah. That, that, it's I'm not, it's not, not, not I'm 100%. Because if she's squirting on me, she's squirting on me. Yeah, you I'm talk. A, I'm that a, dick sucking shit. The I'm other a, shorty said, hmm? You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I'm uh, 100%. Kara said, I ain't never heard of it. Maybe she was tipsy and had an accident. Squirt is pee. I don't give a fuck if it's pee or not, man. I'm freaky. I want I'm her to squirt on my shit. Squirt. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? That shit don't smell like no pee. That shit not no fucking pee. Y'all know the difference between pee and squirt? Come on. Come on. Yo, if you think that's pee, guys, you ain't never make a girl squirt before. That's, what am I saying? Because I, hey, that's, nigga, that, that shit don't smell like no pee. The pee smell totally different. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. It's Thank you, Kiara. Thank you. I know we got a lot of guys out here that ain't making them squirt. Including my guy right here. <laughs> Including my guy right here. Because you ain't going to say these fucking crazy shit to me, man. You can't tell me these crazy things. Girls are squirting from sucking dick. Bro, and girls I'm are squirting, telling you. And girls is peeing. And that's squirting. Yo, guys. Y'all getting confused, man. This person... I'm about to break it down for y'all now, man. Now I'm going to fucking... break the shit down, man. Alright? Y'all want to make me break this shit down for y'all, man. Y'all really getting me tired right now. Listen, there's certain positions that no matter what, you're gonna make a girl squirt. Especially if your dick is a certain size. It's just science. It's literally just science. Y'all know about the G spot, right, guys? You go up a girl, curve like this, and go like that. That's called the G spot, right? You know what's the difference between the G spot and the regular spot? It feels like it's bumpy, alright? 
It feels like it's bumpy. Those bumps is uh, sensitive. It's very sensitive. The girls are very sensitive. So what happened, guys, when you stick your dick all up in her, right? Come on, look, look down, right? You stick your dick up in her. Boom! Your dick is all up in her, right? Look, look, look. Your dick is all up in her, right? You smooth this shit like this. Like that, boom. What do you think is happening? What do you think is happening, man? What do you think is fucking happening? You go like this. You're fucking rubbing and just creating mad friction on her fucking bumps, on those fucking G-spot. What do you think is going to happen? That's just, that's just from her, uh, her being on top of you. She's going to motherfucking squirt, nigga. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Turn her around when she starts to squirt, right? Magic happen. Tell her, Kiara, let them know. Turn them around. Now lay on her back, right? And put her motherfucking hair, her feet in the air like this. Make sure her feet is in the air like that. And then I want you to get low, nigga. Get low and put your dick up. Don't go in like this. Up. Feel me? A dick curves. Guys, the dick curves and go up. You put the dick up, it fucks up the same spot. The G spot. And then guess what happened? Tell him, Kiara. Magic! Come on! Come on! And guess what? That's not the only spots. If you slide your dick in and if your stroke game is real, from the back, from the back, from the back, you turn her around from the back. Boom! Not 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 this. Not a ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh, uh. You feel me? Muscle confusion. Muscle, feel me? Nah, 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 uh, uh, uh. You go, bang, 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 da, 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 bang. The pussy's a muscle, muscle confusion. You do that from the back, she's squirting. Talk to me. Let me know. Tell me I'm wrong. Cause I, that's my job. Come on. Talk to me. Fuck out of here, man. Yeah, he's sweating. <laughs> 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 that demon was a whole workout. That demo, for you. yeah. Facts, tell yo pillow, pillows, pillow box. Let them know. That's how you make the girl squirt, man. So easy. Nah, he he big gave me that tip. I told him. <laughs> I broke it, yo. Believe it or not, me, me and Bam had this talk, and I I specifically gave him a a a, a, a positions to make her squirt. And I have my other bros with me too. Who, feel me? Who would agree? Yo, bro, I ain't gonna front. Yeah, son. Put her in that position is over. Feel me? He said, thank for the advice. <laughs> did, did I give you the tip, bro? Somebody yeah, asked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gave me the tip. Hell yeah. He gave me the tip. Hell yeah. He definitely gave me that tip. Yo, my job is to make them squirt. He definitely gave so me that So I'll be telling Bam, you gotta do that too, bro. You, They will never leave you, son. They will never leave you, son. They will always remember you. Now, a real man need advice. I asked my girl how to make her go crazy. Yeah. Yo, bro, real talk. You, you got to talk to your girl, son. Got to talk to her. She'll let you know what she likes, son. That's the truth. Yo, yo, guys, you see what the girl says? Pillow, ba pillow box, the position. And that's my favorite one. The one with the legs. You put her legs on your shoulder, nigga. Put her legs. Mm, and then you, this is how you supposed to do it. You supposed to, mm, you know what I'm saying? Then you go up with the shit, with the legs on the shoulder. You go up, what? Whoosh! Don't act like a pro if you're not, bro. She gonna dip. <laughs> she gonna dip so fast. Yo, listen. listen. Man, ain't no acting like a pro, man. It's either you are a pro. Or you're just not, bro. There's no acting like Yo, a bro, you pro. better off acting like a fucking pro when you in the pussy than act like you don't know what you're doing. That's the worst time to act like you don't know what the fuck you're doing. If you in the pussy and you act like you don't know what you're doing, she gonna tell you, nigga, get the fuck off of me. What are you doing? What are you talking about, bro? Act like, yeah, I don't give a fuck, nigga. You, you ain't never do before. Huh, huh, huh. Bing! Start spinning or something. Do some new tricks or something, boy. Make, you know what I'm saying? Make it seem like you did this shit before. That's, that's not acting, bro. That's doing. No, bro. You when I when I lost my virginity, I ain't never do that shit before. But I was in that shit. You had it in you, bro. I was I was acting like I did it. I was telling I was listen. I was telling people I lost my virginity since I was in elementary school. 
I was acting like I lost my virginity until Dan went in there, lost my motherfucking virginity, man. I don't know about y'all. Y'all can be lying. I, I don't know who the fuck you lying to. You lying to yourself. You feel me? But this shit is real. I can't lie. I'm saying? Fake it till you make it. <laughs> yeah, I had to, bro. I ain't gonna front. I had to. Until I learned to be myself? Yeah, bro. I had to. I used to tell the girls I was a doctor, I was a lawyer, I own my own business, blah, 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 blah. If she's bleeding, that's no bueno. First of all, pillow, pillow box. How you know my name? How she know my name? Hold on. Wait. How you know my name, pillow box? <laughs> you said your name? Yeah. Facts, you lying to yourself. Thank you. Oh, oh, she was talking about someone named Anthony. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, pillow box. <laughs> I don't mind. Anthony's my name. I ain't mad, bro. Anthony's just a part of my name. You don't know my full name. Yeah, yeah, well, y'all got spooked. I, well, I didn't get, I just want to know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> she will fix you with pizza. <laughs> so we all know the name. Yeah, y'all know Partial. You feel me? What's Bam Bam name? <laughs> y'all know my name. <laughs> Who knows my name? Except for certain people. <laughs> Teacher's born, bro. <laughs> Y'all wanna know more about the, the positions? <laughs> Yo, real talk too, I ain't gonna front. Yo, real talk, I ain't gonna front. Yo, one of the easiest ways, guys, let's talk about making a girl come. Let's talk about that. Because a lot of guys don't know how to make a girl come. You feel me? What the fuck is going on, man? It's so easy, man. It's so easy, man. You feel me? It's so easy. That, yo, you should be doing that within the first two to five minutes. That's how simple it is. It should only take you two to five minutes to make her come. You should be struggling to make her squirt. You should be working on making her squirt. Come, guys, is either certain positions. Now, certain women come from certain things. Some women don't come from penetration. Some women come from penetration. Your job is to figure that the fuck out. Figure that out. Some girl, feel me? So, all you gotta do, cause once you figure it out, is make her come, bro. If she comes from penetration, penetrate now, right? But while you penetrating, don't just, you know what I mean, focus on that. Bite her, bro. Here, here, everywhere, foreplay. Getting them more wet as you fuck them will only lead to them coming. And then on top of that, playing with that little thing right there. Y'all never did that before? Touch her shit up, grab, play with it, and then bust it up too? You know what I'm saying? Playing with the clitoris while having sex? This is the most educated diet plan for you. <laughs> 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 Listen, what's the whole point of getting the gays if you don't know what to do? If you don't know what to do with the gays, man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yo, you're, you see what Kiara's saying? Hope y'all got pen and paper, man. man. This is truth, though. You want to feel me full range of motion, man. Play with her. And guys, learn how to play with the girl clitoris, man. Cut your nails. Look, look, look at the nail. Cut the nail. Don't have the dirt in the nail. Don't have her looking at your nail or looking at you like... Hell no, nigga, you can't put that shit near me. Cause that's why, that's the only reason why women look at your nails. Cause they like, ooh, he could touch me. They not, you feel me? Don't bite on your nails, man. Take Just care bite, of your shit. Bite him on the butt. <laughs> yeah, bite that booty. Bite her. Feel me? Some don't. No way it's located. Damn, son. Yeah. That's why you're not making your girl come. Yeah. Because, yo, 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 bro, even if your stroke game isn't on point, some girls, they will come just because you fucking them and playing with them, son. And stimulating them because you're just stimulating the muscles. 
All you have to do is stimulate the muscles, man. I'm biting on the forehead. <laughs> fuck that. I don't give a fuck. Bite everything you need to. Make her feel like you a whole different type of dude. You're a whole different breed. But just make sure that you do it in a way that it's, it's likable, man. You feel me? Don't be looking all crazy trying to bite her forehead, nigga. <laughs> but it make it look sexy. You know what I'm saying? Make that shit look sexy, man. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you could be so confident, bro. You could be so confident, bro. You can make the worst things into something good. Especially if your dick is good, son. You got to understand that. If you dick her down right, you could do anything, son. And, and, and a lot of things. You could fart in her face. She wouldn't be mad at you, man. She's just like, yo, move that shit. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? But she's still going to love you and she's still going to make you a sandwich. You feel me? Give us the top three positions. I never said finger ring. Some girls don't like to be fingered. But you should play with her clitoris. You should always learn to play with her clitoris. Always. Feel me? Always. Not this finger, this finger. Two fingers is better control in the middle, you know what I'm saying? And motions, you know? And a lot of guys think about, oh, you got to be like this. Nah, man. Come on, man. It's not a fucking... Uh, a clock to wound up or some shit like that, man. Touch the shit. Feel it. Flow through it. Learn her how she moves. You know what I'm saying? You're going to see how she moves. She's going to respond. That's all you got to do. Man, Come on. It's getting crazy up in here. Come on. How about the ones who don't have enough? Have enough dick? <laughs> I don't know. So, yo, Kara, I'm, that's a good shit. I don't know how to get more dick. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. For some reason, I don't I know. Heard. I go for it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> nah, it's not all about the motion. Sometimes it can be motion, but it's just not nah, hitting not right. Really hitting right. Mmm. Yeah, Niggas be having some smallies. Yo, guys. Be in tune, be in tune with what you got, man. You just get money and you can't forget all of my office. Yo. Nah, that's a fact, though, you heard? If you don't got a big dick, yo, just get mad money, you heard? They don't got, you don't got, you don't got to know about none of that shit, man. Oh, my God. You don't get oh. bitches, but... She not gonna be with. She's not with you for the dick, though, bro. Just know that. Yeah. Man. Somebody <laughs> she else. She's not with you. Somebody else might be giving her what she wants, man. And she uses you for what she wants from you, which is that money, man. What if a girl wants to stop? But <laughs> you want to keep going, keep yo, bro, bro. You know what they say? Girls never want to stop. That shit is true. You feel me? So that means if if she wants you to stop, you probably not doing shit something right, bro. So you probably gotta figure that out. Feel me? Probably gotta figure it out. So, um, yeah, stop. You see? Listen to her mouth. Yeah, you see? <laughs> You're not doing something right, bro. So, yeah, so you got to figure out what's going on. You know what I mean? Because a girl that's loving it in that moment, boy, she not gonna wanna stop, bro. Just hypothetical. I, yo, it happened to me before, bro. I heard a girl tell me to stop. That's how I know. I wasn't doing it right, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, ain't nobody perfect out here, bro. Gotta have a one and more. That's yeah, right, man. that's the that's all you gotta do. Making Listen. sure that she's dripping, always dripping. Listen, man. You see what Shorty says? Figure something else out. Yeah. You must be. You must not be doing something right. You gotta have a. You, you gotta. She gotta be. In, it gotta be in a. It gotta be a situation where it's like you can't even hold all your semen retention because it's like she just keep wanting some fucking more, man. If it smell like fish. Uh, do what do you do with it? Yo, that's when you gotta bounce, bro. You have to bounce, man. When it smells like something, you don't want to put your freaking health at risk. That's how I look at it, man. You just gotta bounce, bro. Yeah, it's almost an infection. I've been in a situation where I just fucking smelt the shit, and I'm like, nah, son. <laughs> Yo, Ben, what's the longest you retained? The longest I retained for semen retention? Off the first one? Yo, Ben, answer the question. So look at me. He said, how long oh. have you retained? I think that's a general question. What's the oh. longest you've ever retained? 31 minutes. From the first one, 
The second one, it's like, I didn't even, I just went for, for two hours and some change, but I didn't even, I didn't even release it. It was just all day and I didn't even release it. But the first one, the most I've done from the first one is 31 minutes. I calculated it too. Yep. <laughs> That's why, you, Jessica, Jessica, we here, Jessica. Ain't no way in hell this nigga was watching the car. Oh yeah, I do. Bro. All right, it's 31 minutes. All right, I'm about to bust this nut right now. I'm you know bad, I mean? bro. 31 minutes. Yo, uh, kid asked, kill up. Ask me the same question. There's no fucking time limit, bro. There ain't no time limit, man. You hold that shit. You hold that shit. Feel me? Ain't no time limit, bro. I'm capping. You ever been in a threesome? I'm capping, Marcel. You ever been in a threesome? Marcel, you ever been in a threesome? I don't know about y'all. 30 but minutes ain't that long for a first nut, though. I don't know about y'all, but I've been in a threesome before, bro. You know what I'm saying? And in my threesome, bro, I don't want to bust no nut. I want to keep on going. All night long. All night. All night. Yeah, two girls. All night long. All night. Yeah. Yeah. When I'm done, they lay the fuck out. Like, damn. What the fuck is going on? Where did you find this guy? What the fuck? You feel me? Yeah. And then you, you can go back and have her threesome anytime. Anytime after that. Have them, I didn't have them both squirting, unfortunately, one was squirting, but the other one, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the night, they both was dead. And I still didn't bust a nut. I was so hard, I was so high off the energy of fucking both of them, I never wanted to bust a nut. I, I fucked both of them for hours that night. And Bam Bam will tell you, I had three subs. Tell them, Bam Bam, let them know. Yeah. Let them know. You just had three subs. Feel me? Yeah. Bro, he's a wild dude. Two, two girls. No, no, yeah. Two girls. I have threesomes and I'm not busting no nut, nigga. I don't give a fuck. I don't give no fucks. One girl did not squirt. My job was not done. That's why I didn't bust a nut. If you can't understand that, you fucking up. I don't give a fuck if it's five bitches. I'm not busting a nut if they all don't squirt. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. 31 minutes, two minutes, five minutes. Ain't no, there is no time, man. There is no time limit, man. Bang, bang. You already know. Hell yeah. So Get the fuck was, out of here, man. Was, um... You get a chance to have a threesome, and then what you gonna do? Bust a nut, and then be all, oh my gosh. Oh, let's wait a few guys. Or, what? And I didn't ask for it. It happened to happen to me. You feel me? The two girls told me, yo, we going, we at the bar. And I'm at the bar like, yo, I ain't gonna front. I'm at the bar like this. Everybody at the bar get some shots. I ain't give a fuck, you feel me? You at the ball, you at the ball, you at the ball, you at the ball. Everybody at the ball. I was having fun. You at the ball, I show you love. You get some shots. I was drinking whiskey. Y'all know about that whiskey dick? Do y'all know about that whiskey dick? First of all, there was no way in hell I was gonna come, period. I had too much whiskey. I had so much shots of whiskey. If you don't wanna come, guys, Another, another way to prepare yourself if you don't want to bow, bust it out, drink mad whiskey, man. Oh, man. I had that whiskey dick. We up in the bar. Everybody gets shots. You want a shot? You want a shot? Let's go. These girls come up to me. I ain't going to front. One of them I already talked to. And it happened that she had a girlfriend. I didn't know. Her girlfriend was there. I didn't know none of that. But they was feeling my, her girlfriend was feeling my swag. She came up to me and was like, yo, we leaving. I didn't know who the fuck she was talking about. If she was talking about her and my, the girl I was talking to, or if she was talking about us. I was just telling my friends that I'm leaving because the girls came up to me and it says we leaving. I don't know. We out. I took all the lighters, all the roll up, all the weed my friends had. They had to come drive down the block to come get the shit back from me. You feel me? That's how real it was. I didn't give a fuck. I left. We went to the crib. We would still be there right now. Right now. You feel me? I ain't busting on nut until she squirt. I don't give a fuck if it's two, five, ten bitches. That's my goal. Me. Did you bust a nut that night? No. Oh, wow. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's crazy. I didn't bust not, I didn't bust not one nut. And I was there 
wilding on both of them for at least like two and a half to three hours. Yo, this is how you know it's crazy. You know it's crazy when the girl tell you, right? But did you did you jack off before you do that? No. Exactly. What you what you mean? I'm sorry. Whiskey. Saying. That's what I'm trying to tell you. There's no exactly. Okay. okay. You gotta learn. Ain't no exactly. Okay. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm saying you had to, you 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 practice semen retention. You feel at me? At that point, mm -hmm. you're practicing semen retention. You didn't yeah, I was. Off. I was. Exactly. I was practicing semen retention. That's what I'm saying, bro. I was very. I was That's very dealt with practicing semen retention. But it doesn't matter. So you're saying it's the whiskey. No, the whiskey was so a part you, of it. The whiskey helped. Yeah, I'm saying, if you didn't have the whiskey, would you have lasted that long still? I yeah, can't right? say that. I can't say that. But what I'm trying to say is, if you drink whiskey, you will last a longer than what you normally do, nigga. Yeah, but I'm saying, you last that long off of semen retention, not jacking off. I'm telling you, I last that long of a combination of semen retention, not jacking off, and my mind telling me, I'm not, jack I'm not busting enough until she fucking squirts. The fuck? If you don't get that, that's your fault. Me, I'm not squirt. I'm not busting on nut until she squirt, nigga. Now, this is how you know it's so real. I'm in one shorty, right? I'm in one shorty wildin'. The other shorty goes to get a phone and she's like, yo, this shit is crazy. Do you mind if I just record this shit? Do you mind if I could just record this shit? You think a shorty gonna wanna record you fucking her and her friends? If your shit not lit, and I'll tell you, when I saw her recording me, you know what I did? I went like this, in a fucking handstand. While Shorty's laid out in the bed, I'm on my hands, wilding her up. Shorty fell on the ground with the camera. She was like, she was like, oh shit, what the fuck? She fell on the ground with the camera, cause she was shocked. I went into a handstand to kill Shorty's shit. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. Tax season, man. Tax. Taxes, man. I look at her with the camera. I'm like, what? It's not regular. What? It's not regular. How? What you mean how, bro? She on the bed. You feel me? You in the air. On your head. What you mean? Yeah, bro. The cat murderer. Hell yeah, bro. Oh, man. Real nigga shit? Oh, God. I'm dead ass. Tell, I'm, listen, I got some experiences, man. I'm telling you. All right, hey. Y'all, y'all to... Uh, <clears throat> shit that I can tell y'all, man, probably get me in trouble. <laughs> dead ass. Hey, yo, and ask him. When I met him, I told him, y'all better be doing handstands in the girl pussy, son. You teaching me how to do handstands, right? Word. And the first thing I'm gonna do is handstand in the pussy. I don't know about y'all. A lot of guys do handstands and go handstand on the gym. Handstand everywhere. Nah, hand, he, hand, he, handstand. He, he showed me that and respectfully, man. I Fully. I'm handstanding in the pussy, man. I'm showing him how to handstand and then I, the, the next day or two, he's showing me like him. A picture of me handstanding in the pussy. I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> so he applies this to... Uh, <laughs> yeah, he thought I was weird. He's like, yo, this guy's a little different. Word, I'm like, he's like, this guy a little different. Like, Hands that in the pussy, man. You feel me? Why not? Why you can't? What you mean? Muscle up in the pussy, man. Yo, <laughs> working out is calisthenics. I mean, having sex is calisthenics. This nigga said, show us. In the pussy. Boom! 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 Yo, you do one-handed. Boom! 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 Come on! What you mean? What you mean? Come on! You can one-hand it. You one hand get tired, you switch your hands. In the pussy, all in the pussy. She gonna remember you for life. She gonna be like, yo, this nigga made me squirt. This nigga was doing handstands in the pussy. When she tell her friends that, you know what her friends gonna say? You understand that? Cause girls gonna tell their girlfriends. They gonna be like, yo girl, I got some dick last night. You know what I'm saying? Made me pee, yeah, made me pee. But this nigga went in the handstand. Handstand? Bitch was like, what? He, after y'all had sex, y'all did handstands? Are you showing you how to do a handstand? Nah, he went to handstand in the pussy. What? That's the same thing y'all thought. Why y'all not doing it? 
One leg, you feel me? One leg, ha, one leg, ha, ba, ba. Two legs, all the extra shit. Everything. Child support. <laughs> it's the child support for me. That's what I'm talking about. He want to try handstands now. Yo, I'm telling you, son. Handstand in the pussy. Handstand tutorial. Handstand in the pussy. Handstand Best thing that you ever do, man. Handstand Even if you're making her cum. Even if you don't make her cum or don't make her squirt, she's going to remember that. She gonna remember. What the fuck this nigga doing? Ooh, wow. Hey. Wow, this nigga's turned up. Oh. <laughs> if you catch Broly, <laughs> Spider-Man kissing your girl. What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> Please collab with Team Set Me. I got you, bro. Yeah, give it a try tonight, bro. That's impossible. It's not impossible, bro. All you gotta do, right? I, yo, I'll break it down for you, son. I'll break it down for you. Yo, have to make that part of the challenge. Yo, so watch this, watch this. Hold, hold the phone real quick. You have her lay down in the bed, right? If she laying in the bed, she lay right here. She lay right there in the bed. You handstand right here. And then you lean in your body on her, and then you just fuck it. You just fuck it. What you mean? All the body weight's on her already, man. And, and, and in the dick. So the shit's shoving, bro. Feel me? I'm telling you. You can put your foot on the bed if you want. But you fucking it, bro. It's on the hands. Yo, guys. Time out. Time out. Y'all never ate the pussy in the handstand? I never ate the pussy in the handstand? Gotta eat the pussy in the handstand, man. I'm dead ass, you know? Look, 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 look. You worked on yourself. You, you build at the same time as Yo, you. Yo, team send me in here. Boom. That's the we same. Head. You go down, you eat the pussy. Come back up. Go down, eat the pussy. Come back up. Go down, eat the pussy. Come back up. Feel me? Yo. Yo, listen, 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 listen. Listen, listen. When I'm in the handstand eating the pussy, another girl's sucking my dick at the same time. Real shit. What up? Shout out to my god team, Semi, man. Semi in the building. Feel me? So, come on, man. What are y'all guys doing at home, son? Doing squats. You do squats in the club, bro. Squats in the club. Yeah, Sammy, we teaching them. We teaching them how to, how to make the bitches squirt. How to make the girls, let me, let me rephrase it, how to make women squirt. We teaching them how to, <laughs> how to, you know what I mean? Play with them. We teaching them different positions. We teaching them how to diet. We teaching them everything, bro. Everything, son, the breakdown. Feel me? Yo, Sammy, they keep asking us for a collaboration, bro. We're going to have to collab soon, son. Yeah, bro. They fiending, bro. Let's do this, bro. They fiending. They want a collaboration, so we're going to have to collab soon, bro. I'm going I'm to reach out to you, man. Feel me? They creating. We said, they said we creating lousy. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> they are teaching us how to <laughs> die for <laughs> muscle gains. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I might have to change the title after this time is over, man. Oh, man. I'm going to change it to self-development. Uh, I got you, Semi. Semi said, let's get it done. Big facts. I ain't heard no diet info yet. Yo, Jessica. Yo, make sure y'all go subscribe to my page too, man. Broly Gains. Yeah. Make sure you go add us on Facebook. Sensu Gang. Feel me? Self-development, man. Self-development. I'm gonna change the title to self development, man. Nah, nah, but we talked about diet. Yeah, the did. first, the first hour and two hours, we talked yeah, about the whole thing. The whole thing, the whole thing. You guys asked was diet. Then you know what I mean. When y'all talked yeah, about girls, we turned it up, man. The, the shit just got a little bit too turned up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> how to how to eat the pussy for games? You know? Somebody was asking about some beards. You know what I mean? Yeah. Some beard tips. Like somebody was saying. You know what I mean? Uh, one of the best ways. To grow a beer is eating some pussy. You know what I mean? Nah, but seriously though. <laughs> seriously though. Cut you see like bam 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 has I have to cut it. I have to cut it. Yeah, you have, have to, to cut, cut you have to cut that all off. Yeah. Cut that all off and it'll allow your hair to grow yeah. more. But he told he he told me about like, you know. He eating some I, pussy though, too. Yeah, he said I have to eat more. And I ain't gonna front. I, I told like I told him I told him to all the part with no hair, I told him to put that shit in the pussy. 
in the pussy. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I, but I only did this part because I, I didn't want I didn't want beer on this part, so I didn't I didn't listen to that part. When you oh yeah, sixty nine. I fuck with it. Hell yeah. Feel me? I ain't mad at it at all. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? 69 is the way, man. 69 is the way. <laughs> My favorite number, man. If you guys, if you're not eating pussy out there, you you, you don't don't let a person like me or Bam Bam meet your girl. Yeah. You're fucking up. Yeah, man. You're fucking up, bro. Because there's so many guys out there that's ready to eat her pussy, bro. Go eat your girl pussy, bro. Don't it's do ready, that. There's guys that's ready to eat her pussy in a handstand. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> we don't eat that boom boom. <laughs> Yo, Andre, you ain't eating it, bro. Yo, bro, you ain't eating it, bro. Yo, Andre, if you're eating it right now, you're doing a bad job, son, because you can't eat and pay attention to us, son. Yeah, can't. You know what I'm saying? Your body count is five? Don't worry about your body count, man. And you know what I mean? Don't worry, son. You're going to get up there, bro. Bro, it's okay, bro. My body counts five, too, man. Bam Bam is lying. It's five. <laughs> Bam is lying. But listen, man. When you go to college, when you go to college, you get some more pooms, man. If your body count only five. The sex show. Yo, I can talk about sex all day. Y'all don't want <laughs> Go from the UK to the US. Let's go, yo, Bam. Five, five multiply, multiply by, by what? what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh man, keep the numbers low. Yeah, man, keep them numbers low. <laughs> Listen, man. I'm fucking My count is three, Bruce. That's what's up. I don't believe you. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I won't, I don't believe you, son. I don't believe you. The guy who says count was five, I don't believe you, man. You feel me? I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Bruce is dying. My body count is Dalton, bro. you lying, I'm bro. I'm my guys with the low body counts, man. Yo, you know what? You know what? Low I, body I, count gang, man. Yo, y'all fucking shit up, man. Y'all know. No! No! No, guys, no. Honestly, you, I don't know what to say. Nah, you, you do need more experience. I don't just, know what to say. Just like how we would say for you to be a red pill person, you need to go through more. What is body count? Yeah. You don't need experience. to know what body count is if you don't if you're asking that question. Yeah. Body count is how much people you having sex with, man. Experience. How much people you've had sex with in your life? Body count four and I'm nineteen. Why well, never with Urban Felix? <laughs> <laughs> uh, my body count is five and I'm sixteen. Yo, that's good. Your body count is five and you're 16. Great job. Great job. Just make sure you don't have any babies before time and make sure you stay protected. Yeah, all right? That's all I can say. Keep it low, bro. I will never tell y'all what my body count is. Just know that. I will never tell y'all. Y'all will never know. Fuck that. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, so, okay, it's four and a half. Bruce. You lying, bro. Four and a half. Okay, Bruce, you lying. Point, what makes it half? How do you got head? What the fuck is half, bro? You can't get half of a girl, bro. Broly body count is two. Fuck it, word. My body count two. Mine is five. <laughs> Broly body count is one twenty. <laughs> uh, a midget is half. <laughs> Yo, this line is lit tonight. Y'all got me weak. Broly body count is more than my grandma's age. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, real talk, I will never tell you my body count. I ain't gonna front. Too much, you know what I'm saying? Too much people watching, mine, man. Guys. Too much people watching. She's five. She's <laughs> <laughs> five. Nigga, bad <Bam> lying here. <laughs> bad body count is two. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> 200! <laughs> but seriously, those unscrupulous to use sex toys. Oh shit! Wait, what he said? 
But seriously, though, is it unscrupulous to use sex toys? Yo, bro, you, your girl likes sex toys, you use your sex toy, bro. Let me ask you a question. If, if you like head, you want your girl to give you head, right? Right? Whatever you like, you want your girl to help you out with it, right? So she like, you know what I mean, the toys? Give her, help her out with the toys, bro. Yeah, it depends on your girl. Listen, know what she likes, man. Know what she likes. Yeah, and Bruce, know, and know Bruce what I would never tell my body count. And know what she don't like. I would never tell. Bruce, he would never tell his body count. I would never tell my body count either, bro. I just told mine. Don't believe I'm proud me. of my shit. Don't believe him, man. Personally, you don't care about a guy's body count. I don't ask. <laughs> as long as, as, long as, as he's, he's clean. Shout out to Kiara, man. Ask. Shout out to Kiara. She gonna love the toy more than you? No, bro. She gonna love the toy more than you if she have the toy, you know what I mean, more than you. <laughs> so if she have the toy with you, she gonna love y'all both together, man. She gonna, every time she think about coming, she gonna think about you and the toy. Childish to ask for what? Exactly. Don't, don't ask the girl her body count. She never gonna tell you. Yeah. Why? Why Broly? Why why Broly what? Why what? Why I won't tell you my body count? I don't get it. Woo! Yo, shout out to Ike, Ike man. Taylor, man. Ah! My guy just donated $50. Thank you, bro. Salute, bro. Thank you, man. Peace. <laughs> Love, fellas. Any tips for people transitioning into vegetarian or veganism? Um, what you want to do? Very good bro? question. What you want to do? Uh, finally, a plant-based uh, diet question, huh? What you want to do, bro? You want to substitute your meat with beans and lentils. You know, all the legumes, chickpeas. You want to substitute that with, um, yeah, beans and lentils. Also, what people find hard to get on a plant-based diet is B12. So what you want to do is take your sea moss. It could be duckweed. Um, get your B12 from that. Big facts. Bro, you should be good, man. You should be good. Get you, eat your regular carbs and all that. Should be good. Should be straight. Just try to stay away from all the processed food, like the vegan meats and all that. Yeah, all those vegan meats, whatever it is. Like, stay on a whole food plant-based diet, guys. And I'm talking from experience, man. Somebody asks, would you rather have a human body and a dog's head or a dog's body and a human head? Your adoring fans need to know the answer. Very Damn. important question. Damn, son. That's a hard question. <laughs> That's a hard question? Oh, uh, man, my babe. I got bad babe. It's crazy. <laughs> I don't know what I would rather have. What, I, what would you rather would have? Would you rather have a human body and a dog head <laughs> or a dog body and a human head? None of them, bro. I'm happy with the way I am. I'm super content. I don't want none of those. I don't want no dog body. I don't want to be... That sounds crazy, bro. I ain't you gonna can't get it. enough beats off from CMOS. Yeah. Not, yes. Yeah. Yes, you can. And also, like, if you eat your duckweed, listen, they have like all these like um, plant-based milk, basically like the the ripple milk, even the almond milk. They're all falsified with B12 too, guys. That's another thing. Bam yep. answers the dumb. <laughs> Bam answers. To the dumbest question. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, um, a lot of times you can't find B12 in a lot of foods, guys. A lot of people supplement that. Um, one of the best ways to get B12 is sea moss. Sea yeah. moss is a very, uh, B12 is one of the vitamins that your body needs. Yeah. Feel yeah, me? B12 is definitely one of the vitamins that your body needs. Feel me! Ooh. Feel me! What does B12 do? Um, it does a lot. <laughs> B12 basically gives you, uh, um, let, me be, let me be specific. Yo, I smashed with a carrot once. What? He, he smoked, he smoked with a carrot. That's what he said? He smashed. You say he smashed with a carrot? Yeah, B12, yeah, B12 Yo, gives Bruce. you endurance energy all day. <laughs> Yo, That's Bruce. Yo, Bruce, you gotta tell me how you did that, bro. How you smashed with the carrot? Yeah, not only is it good for not only is it good for your, your good blood, for your blood and energy. Not only is it good for your blood, but it's other shit too. How the hell you smash with the carrot, bro? It's tofu good. 
Oh, it's, it's, it's really good and important for your red blood cells, guys. And y'all you know what your red blood cells do, right? So for good meat to, to add to your diet, I would say like stay away from tofu. Tofu is not that good because it's too much soy. Too soy much it is bad. fucks up, especially men. It's testosterone and all that extra shit. Too much estrogen, man. Too much estrogen is in soy. B12 is great energy booster, duh, yup. Can condom over carrots. <laughs> condom over carrots every day. Vitamin D, vegan. Um, Yo, Bruce, you gotta explain to me how you did that with the carrot, bro. How the hell did you blaze a girl with a carrot? Or and or why? Why would you blaze her with a carrot? Did she want the carrot? Did she want the carrot? And or she was asking for more. <laughs> Yo, Bruce. <laughs> Yo, Bruce. I'm still dying from Bruce, man. I'm dying right now, bro. What the fuck, Bruce? Bruce, you didn't want to kill it no more, bro. So you, you came for a, a, a carrot? This nigga is crazy. Said he got the carrot yo. in the fridge. Yo, yo. <laughs> but she can't. She can't twice. Yo, yo. Out of all vegetables. Yo, yo, bro. <laughs> they said out of. Bro. She said out of yo. all vegetables. Bro, what happened? What happened to the, the eggplant? And or what happened to you know what I'm saying? The, the cucumber. The cucumber or some shit, bro. The, the fucking carrot is so so small and narrow at the end and then, you know what I mean? Damn, bro. Damn, bro. That's all I had in the fridge. Yo, bro, and she asked me for some dick. Why are you going to the fridge? <laughs> carrot shot too, man. Oh, man, bro. You got me weak, son. Yo, Bruce. Yo, shout out to my guy, Bruce, man. He is the fun. You got it for tonight, son. MVP for the night, son. Got me dying, bro. Got me weak out here, bro. Like, that is too funny, man. Salute to you, Bruce. That, yo, if I didn't laugh today, that shit right there gave me the best laugh that I had for today, man. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you, son. Because laughter is definitely medicine, son. And the baby carrots. Yo, I don't even know if that's blue pill or even red pill, bro. How bad is that? I don't know. You, you, you see, Ben, Ben, like cucumbers and shit. That was a fun night, though. I can't, yo, listen, Bruce, man. Yo, kudos to that girl, Bruce. Kudos to that girl, because she probably knew it was a carrot, bro. Believe it or not, she probably felt that and knew it was a carrot and still was with it, bro. You know what I'm saying? So kudos to her to popping out for you, and kudos to you for having her to be able to pop out. You obviously had her feel comfortable and loved and all that good stuff, so you know what I mean? Kudos to you, bro, because not a lot of guys could convince a girl to... To, to get carrot, you know what I'm saying? Silver pill. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what color that pill that is, man. Yo, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Oh, she knew and looked at it. I know, I know, bro. She had to have, bro. I understand sex. She had to have looked at it, bro. That's what I'm saying. Kudos to you and kudos to her, cause she looked at it and continued. You know what I'm saying? Bugs Bunny. Bruce. And Bruce, she gonna always remember you for life. One thing though, guys. One thing though. Y'all can find this shit funny. But she gonna remember Bruce for life. Feel me? Bruce was probably the only guy that carried her. You feel me? That gave her that carry. You feel me? Ain't none of y'all giving that, giving her that carry. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Ain't none of y'all gave her that carry. Feel me? And, and, and Bruce, what supermarket you got that carry from, bro? You feel me? What supermarket? Got that vitamin. <laughs> that vitamin carrot, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Oh man. <laughs> this is how a cockroach. Ah! Yo, I don't know if this girl's a trooper or if she's just plain old freaky or if she's just horny as shit. But honestly, she should have stopped you, bro. I don't know what happened. You know what I'm saying? Because. Ah! Woo! Because I ain't gonna front. She's a freak. 
that's a little bit too freaky for me, man. It's a little different. Never, never heard of that. Never saw that. Carrot in the pussy. Yo, shout out to you, son. You, you, you topped my handstand shit. I don't know if I want to do the carrot in the pussy, cause I'm gonna probably feel like, like it's gonna make me feel bad about myself. I ain't gonna front, cause I'm gonna be like, damn, if she comes more because of the carrot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Freaks over nice girls. Did you put a condom on the carrot? Did you put a condom on the Did carrot? Did you put a condom on the carrot? Yeah. Think about yeah. It. Try one. Stop giving bro the ideas, guys. Whoa. <laughs> I don't think bro. He said he, he said he put a condom on the carrot. Yo. He put the condom on the carrot, man. Yo, real talk though, bro. I don't, I'm, I don't think I'm going to put a carrot on the, on the... I don't think I'm going to fuck a girl with the carrot. Yeah, bro. That's with food. Yo, unless she wants me to. If she asks me to, I ain't going to front. She asks, yo, baby, please give me this carrot. I'm like, yeah, give me some head while I'm giving you the carrot. Oh! I'm not gonna be sitting there. I'm not gonna be sitting there carrying you up, you know what I'm saying? And just focusing on that. I don't wanna think like that. So you're gonna have to give me some head while I'm giving you the carrot, man. I don't know what the fuck is going on. How do you guys attract girls? Take off our shirts. Mm. Mm. Oh. Yo, shout out to my guy Bruce, though, man. That was funny as I'm shit. To what? Bam Bam is hungry as shit, guys. He's hungry as hell, um, so he's gonna go get peanut butter and shit. <coughs> he's gonna go get peanut butter to eat right now, guys. I'm hungry as hell too, but I can't just snack. I don't want no peanut butter, I want a whole meal. Feel me, a whole meal. Someone says they need to learn how to spit game. You don't need to learn how to spit game, bro. A lot of guys focus on spitting game and then they lose their self. So don't lose yourself because you're trying to spit game. Mouthpiece and the body gets you any girl. Yeah, bro, but it's not really the mouthpiece. It's basically you being yourself. Because guess what? You feel me? When you be yourself and you have the body, that just shows the confidence, bro. She's not with you because you said something that's miraculous. That she's not, she's not, she ain't give you dick, bro, because you said something. She didn't give you dick because of that. She gave you dick because she was planning on giving you dick no matter what. I mean, not planning no matter what. She planned on giving you dick. You feel me? And you just did the right things to be able to get it now. You feel me? Seduction skills. You don't need seduction skills. How do you acquire seduction skills? How do you acquire those things, man? How do you think women acquire these things? They learn. You don't need that. You don't need seduction skills. Yo, listen, man. I'm not trying to seduce. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to seduce you, unless you're my girl. If you're my girl, I'm gonna seduce you by popping out with a motherfucking mask. I'm, I'm breaking in the crib, and I'm motherfucking. I'm gonna. I'm gonna rape her all around the fucking apartment. My girl. I'm gonna wild her up. I'm gonna wild. Her, I'm gonna tie her up. I'm gonna have her screaming, and then I'm gonna take off the mask and be like, "Yo, baby, that shit was lit." And I'm gonna go break out the crib and walk through the front door. Fuck gonna, be, fuck gonna be acting and playing like I'm an actor for. I'm not getting paid for that shit. You're not getting paid for your acting roles. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't got no... Yo, I had a mouth. I had a mouth. I had a mouthpiece. I had the G when I was young. But I realized that I got more pussy when I stopped doing that. Yo, my lines was crazy. I used to tell girls I was a doctor. I told girls I was a lawyer. I told Gurton, I own this business, I own that business. That shit, oh man. That shit, it only led to the pussy leaving me when they found out. As soon as they found out, oh, oh wow, you was lying about that? Yo, God, guys, these girls will leave you so fast once they figure out that you lying, son. That you lying, bro. Feel me? Yeah, Bambi eating weird, bro. He be eating weird. Y'all see that? He's scooping up the fucking peanut butter with the bread. He could have got some spoon. This is why I be yelling at him, man. I'm like, yo, what the fuck are you doing, son? 
the fuck are you doing? Get a spoon? Yeah, I tell him. I tell him, yo, get a whole knife. Make a whole sandwich, bro. Don't just come over here to me like... I don't want no shit. I don't want nothing out of that peanut butter jar. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, son. I don't want that shit. That's why I can't even eat that shit. Look what he doing. Look, look. Anything that shit is cute, son. Y'all talk to him. Let him know, man. Etiquette, man. One of the, that's why I told him. He did, one of his girls that he came around with, I was like, yo, bro, you got you to gotta break up with that girl, bro. He was like, why you say that? I was like, I don't give a fuck how much love, love you think you love, son. There's certain things about you, bro, that a girl should, you know what I mean? They'll let you know, son. Yo, listen. You know what I mean? You got to do this. You know what I mean? Why you got to do that? You know what I mean? Why you got to do this? Why you got to do that? Girls be the first one. You know what I'm saying? So if you a man and you're not getting better as a man around your girl, leave her, son. Leave her. His girl, she had him eating like this, eating like this, um, with his mouth open. Every time he eat, now he trying to be nice. Check him out now, guys. He trying to be nice now. I'm blowing his ass up. He, but he be like this. And from that alone, I was like, yo, bro, you eat like that around your girlfriend? And he was like, yeah. I was like, word? You really eat like that around your girl and she don't say nothing to you? Break up with her, bro. Because you shouldn't want to eat like that around people, bro. <laughs> you got to see how bro he eats. I man. swear to God. I told him that. Ask him. And then, he and, then, and, then, and then he just tried to get on my shit. Like, yo, bro, the fuck girl you eat? And I'm like, all right, bro. You don't got to believe me. I'm eating like that in front of you. But put me around some girls. I'm like, I'm not going to be doing that over the internet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this nigga be wildin', boy. Yo, this nigga be wildin', son. Yeah, bro, yo. I'll leave a girl because of uh, insecurities and shit, man. I don't got no time for that shit. I don't got no time for that. I don't got no time. Mm -mm. I'm trying to make money. I'm not trying to make money. I'm making money, and I'm motherfucking, you know what I mean? I'm making moves. I don't need to, I don't need to, 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 to create. I don't need stress. Extra stress that I won't be able to redirect uh, uh, that energy for my best self. You know what I mean? Nah. 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 Feel me? I did learn a lot from Broly though, with my past relationship. Yeah, man. Yo, feel me? Yo, you, 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 you doing mad? If you see you got mad bad habits and you realize that those are your bad habits. And people tell you, and your girl never tell you nothing. You know what I'm saying? Talk to her about it. Like, figure out what the fuck is going on. Like, baby, that shit don't bother you. Cause mad people keep telling me how this, that, and the third bothers them. <laughs> um, yo, Broly, those herbal teas. Where can you buy stuff like sour sap leaf? Add me on Instagram. Add me on Instagram. Uh, 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 pillow, pillow box. Add me on Instagram and DM me, and I got you on the herbs, sea moss, and things like that. Anybody out there who want herbs, sea moss, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm out of strong back. I'm out of strong back. But if you want some more herbs, feel me? I got the herbs. So make sure you hit me. Hit me up on IG. Hit my DM. You get some herbs, man. We got detox. We got service. We got herbs that help you revitalize yourself. Herbs that help. Listen. My mom says to me sometimes, she's like, yo, I see you work out mad enough. And I see that, you know, you're getting pussy. So she give me some type of herbal tea. And she be like, yo, this herbs is going to make you even stronger than strong. I be like, damn. Ask Bam Bam. Yo, when I was going through appendicitis, yeah, she was giving me all those herbs. And it was helping. It was helping. Yeah, man. Mama Very love. Cool. Mama love. That's why I got, you know what I mean? Shout out to Mama love. Because she's the one that teach me how to gain, how to be strong. She's the one that taught me how to be a man. My, my own father don't even know how to be a man. Yeah, my mom is the best way. What? The shit my mom done got me out of? I can't even talk about it on this shit. <laughs> Mama Love is the real MVP, man. Yes. I can't even expose Mama Love like that. The real MVP. The best wingman. Ain't no wingman ever greater than Mama Love, man. Girls make you a man by being harsh. Girls don't make you a man by being harsh, bro. Girls don't make you a man by being harsh. A lot of times, men learn 
uh, to, to not be men because of a woman that was being harsh in his life. You learn how to be more of a man by having a woman next to you, for example, that supports you. You learn how to be a better person because of your mother. You understand what I'm saying? Because of your mom. So if you surround yourself with somebody who will have you feel like that, like she could be like a mother figure around you, you will be a better person. Even if you was fucking them, bro. You know what I'm saying? Even if you thought your girlfriend was similar to your mother or some shit like that. You know what I mean? Once you have somebody around you that fucking supports you, you will grow. Yeah. But that doesn't mean you have to be harsh and mean and, and stuff like that, bro. That means that they're supporting you. They're supportive. Like, for example... Uh, uh, one thing I told Bam, I was like, yo, Bam, you've been doing YouTube for mad long. Where your girl at? Why she not helping you do videos? Why she not in your videos? This, that, and the third. And he told me his reason. I was like, break up with her. Fuck y'all together for three, four years, and it's hard for her to, for, to, for her to support you do YouTube, yet yeah, this is the way you make money, nigga? This is how you take her out? This is how you buy her clothes? This is how y'all, feel me? Bye. Break up with her, bro. She can't support you. Because you're going to support what the fuck she doing. Yep. I learned, man. Women, I learned. women, women aren't harsh, man. They, they be harsh to guys that they don't fuck with. If they're not submissive to you, leave them. Because a girl that wants you, she's going to be submissive to you, man. So if she harsh, if she harsh, that means that you just not the man for her, nigga. You're not that guy. You don't make her go oomph. Yo, she don't dream about you, bro. If you don't give her dick for 30 days, she gonna cheat on you, bro. <laughs> you wanna be with a girl that you don't give her dick for 30 days, she don't even think about that. Feel me? Yeah, yeah. Yo, I'm getting tired, and all I smell is banned peanut butter and shit. So, I'm about to get the fuck out of here. Shout out to you guys for popping out from the Super Saiyan Challenge um, earlier and now to the talk. You feel me? Bam Bam can stay with you guys. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, though. I'm about to leave, too. I'm the more, to the, more so. the more, I stay, I'm going to get grumpier and more tired. All right? I need to go eat. I'm going to kill Bam Bam if I don't go eat. <laughs> so, thank you guys for popping out. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for popping out on the, the Super Saiyan Challenge. Thank you for smashing these like buttons. You feel me? Thank yeah, you man. Guys for everything. Thank you guys for everything. You guys inspire us. You feel me? So keep on supporting. Because you you guys inspire us, man. Join our group Sensu Gang. S-E-N-Z-U Gang. Add me on Instagram. Feel me? Mad simple, yo. Broly. With a zero. B-R-0. Lee Gangs. Add Bam Bam. What's your shit, bro? B A M underscore B A A M one. Come on. Let's turn up. Feel me? Support. Salute. Smash the like button. Come on, tell him, man. Come on. Smash that like button. Come on. Smash the subscribe button. Let's go. Smash the share button. Let's go. Smash the comment Let's button. Let's go. Smash the bell. Let's, Let's go. Subscribe button. Let's go. Smash everything. Let's go. My girl in the dislike button, man. Yo, make, and make sure, yeah, yeah. Everybody a part of Sensor Gang. Let's all keep in with each other. Talk to each other. You feel me? Keep the energy alive, guys. I fuck with you guys. I love you guys. And I'll see you tomorrow. You feel me? Yo, shout out to my guy Bruce with the carrot tonight. One of my sayings, Sensu Gang Bruce. Shout out to my guy Willie G too. And shout out to my guy ML, man. My guy, I gotta shoot those guys out special tonight. Facts, I do laugh at everything. Peace, guys. Yo, later, guys. Salute.